Oh, hello. Beautiful people of the internet. Hi, hi, hi. Listen, I'm late. It's fine. Exclamation late. It's true. I'm not beating the allegations. It's true. Hi, everybody. How are we doing? Uh, listen, we just finished Fresh Air Friday. It's fully finished. Which means we have some new people to add to our poster. Some new people to add to our poster. Uh, oh. Zoom jump scare. My bad, my bad. Uh, shout out to... Plastic Satan, uh, Ivy Like, Mona Me, Ice, Desert Llama, and Pluvio is a Planet, who are all getting added to uh, the poster. Muted! What? I'm not! I'm not muted. You guys are April Foolsing me. You guys are assholes. Every single one of you. Is this a spoilery discussion thing? Listen, I know what day it is. Type pterodactyl if you can hear me. Here's the deal. I will gift five subs if I am muted right now. In the words of John Bibendum, Dark Souls. Mm, interesting the pterodactyl. Giant, mm. hope you mm. for having a decent day. Interesting. Oh, he's muted. He's muted. Uh, sure. You little turds. Tony's gone crazy with the power, by the way. Absolutely crazy with the power. Messages deleted everywhere. Hi, Sven. Thanks for the five bits. Anyways, some lovely people did Fresh Air Friday this week, and nothing is going to stop me from recognizing... That was such a hard zoom. Holy shit. <clears throat> From recognizing them. Sassy Ryan in, in here? Sassy Chat in here. Sassy Chat. There's a lot of names on this thing. Holy shit. Plastic Satan, Ivy Like. Mona Me and Ice Ladle. Uh, Desert Llama and Pluvio is a planet. All right, should we show this off? Hold up, one second. Should we show off this poster? If I can do it without uh, ripping it. How's everybody doing, by the way? Fresh Air Friday, the month of March. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. There's so many names here. I'll hold it still so you can read. Feet for free? Stop looking. Avert your eyes. Look at the amount of people who checked in for one week during the month of March, took some self-care. Holy shit. That's a lot of people. That's a whole lot of people. We should do it. Hold up. We should do a. Uh, we should do a screenshot. Ugh. You have a total. Um. I have some totals. That I can tell you about. Uh, some totals. But I'll tell them in one second. I'm gonna. Uh, will somebody screenshot the screen here in a second and post it in um, Discord? 
Oh, one second, one second. Why are some names bigger? Is it because you love them more? Kappa. Yes, yes. How's that for a terrible screenshot? Will somebody post it on Discord? Listen, Ryan's sassy. Chad is sassy. Chad's the sassy ones today. Hold it up more. It's not all going to fit in the frame and also my head. What it's going to have to do. All right, we'll leave it there for a second. Oh. We'll leave it up there for a little bit. Sincerest thanks to everybody who, uh, sincerest thanks to everybody who uh, participated in Fresh Air Friday. You're telling me Panda walks in to chat for the first time in two weeks to say, guys, I think he might be muted. Anyone else's least favorite day of the year, April 1st? Hi, Panda. How's it going? It's good to see you. I wake up in a bad mood on April 1st. I just do. I don't know why, but I'm not a pranker and I'm not a get pranked kind of person. April Fool's is the worst. Why is my brain like this? Why do I get angry on a day where other people get delight? I'm turning into an old man. It's just a... It was just a prank, Han. That's a great point, Ray. Hey, That's a fantastic fucking point. That's what this is. April 1st day is it just... just a prank, Han. Just a prank, Han day. That's what it is. I will say you guys caused a real, a real, uh, a real second of panic. I was like, I can't be muted because I can tell that I'm not muted. And if, if my streaming software shows that I'm not muted, but chat says that I am, we're fucked. <laughs> and like, if it shows we're muted and we're, it shows we're not, and somehow we are, that's it for streams for the week. Cause I don't know how to fix that. And I don't have the time and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And Whoops. Anyways, how's everybody doing? Uh, some stats on Fresh Air Friday. Evo um, did me the solid of uh, looking up. We had 92 people check in this week in the Fresh Air Friday channel. We had 469 nice people, or sorry, total check-ins for the entire month. 469 individual people doing uh, that's not messages in the chat. That's check-ins. Almost 500. 70 people went five of five weeks. There's 122 people total. So that's actually, that should be the stat. I think there's 122 people on that, um, on that poster. 70 people uh, did five out of five um, and get some cards. So speaking of the devil, tomorrow, <laughs> I think Tony put it in exclamation week already. Shout out to Tony. Oh God, I can't. Sp I um, we're gonna do a ton of cards tomorrow morning. If you got Fresh Air Friday cards, um, they will. We'll be opening them tomorrow. We'll be opening them tomorrow. Um, absolutely. Uh, what if we told you that all your recent YouTube recordings had no audio? I would know that was a lie. If you guys all commented on YouTube, it might make me panic, but. Uh, yeah. Uh, is Fresh Air Friday going to become an annual event? Um, I think there's a high likelihood of that, uh, Buster. But I'm also going to tell you right now, I'll just, I'll just spill the beans. Fresh Air Friday is also just going to stay alive. Fresh Air Friday is, uh, is active. Uh, it'll be this Friday. We're going to continue doing it. Um, yeah, things are gonna, things are gonna stay up. I, I talked with the Discord mods. Um, I think they'll be able to help us run it a little bit. They're already helping us run it, but, um, yeah, we're, we're gonna keep freshing. Fresh air forever. I don't know that we'll do it forever, to be clear, but we're gonna at least do it for a couple more months. Um, we have some, also some, Megan and I were talking yesterday about some ideas on how to keep it, like, keep it fun, maybe, maybe change things up here in a couple months or something if we need to, if we need to do that. And if we need to, we can also just retire it for a little bit and then bring it back next, uh, next March or something. But yeah, we got to keep it fresh, Tony. Exactly. Hell yeah, brother. That air's fresh. 
No more card rewards. No more rewards right now, starting on Friday. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you. Seriously, thank you guys for the incredible, like, Fresh Air Friday was a ton of, a ton of fun for me personally. Um, I hope it was good for you. Um, liked it. It's been one of the coolest things we've done this year. Uh, yeah, Tony. I think that's good. Shout out to Evo. Evo's not here right now. Evo's at class, but. Um, fine, I guess I'll just get my fresh air for my own well-being. I know, you gotta do it for your own, for your own purposes. Um, <clears throat> Ryan, you need to un-VIP me. You know what, Deku? I really appreciate that. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the honesty. How was your weekend, chat? Can I tell you about, uh... The highlight of mine, and by that I mean the low light of mine. So you remember last week when we were like, hey, did you guys know you need to uh, run the garbage disposal before you run the dishwasher? Because otherwise the dishwasher can back up and can leak. There's this thing that you're supposed to do as an adult, which is that you're supposed to run the garbage disposal, then the dishwasher, because otherwise it can it can back up and, and happen. So, guess what wasn't the problem with our dishwasher? Also, guess on an unrelated note, um, we went to go to Easter uh, on Saturday with my family. And uh, I hit the garage door, and it goes up about an inch, and then it goes right back down. And I hit the garage door, and it goes up an inch, and it goes back down. I hit the garage door. Up, back down. I am really shocked that Chad is surprised by this. Ice, you might be one of, truly Ice, you might be one of 10 people who knew about this shit before I talked about it on stream last week. Like... So basically, every time I mention it, uh, Megan's dad was like, yeah, you're supposed to run the garbage disposal. Uh, I didn't know that. Um, most people in chat also did not know that. Anyways, now you know. Run the garbage disposal before you're in the sink because otherwise it can back up. Anyways, other than that, uh, I hit the garage door. Garage door is broken. Our cars are trapped inside of the garage. Right, like 10 minutes before we're supposed to leave to, East to go to Easter. Uh, long story short, in the last couple of days, we have a broken garage door. It got fixed this morning. A broken dishwasher. <laughs> That's going to get fixed at some point. Uh, ooh. You don't have a release lever? We do have a release lever, but I was clean, and things are greasy, and our garage door is heavy as shit. So I got it manually released and got the cars out and everything. But, um, but yeah. I also have a very pregnant wife who can't help me lift the garage door or like hold it because she is not supposed to be lifting stuff. Um, yeah, I think our garage door is the heaviest garage door that has ever existed. I'm not a like strong person, but I'm also not like a wildly weak person. Um, it was just a prank garage door. Ask Hero to help. I love that idea. Um, so yeah, anyways. Yeah, having a pregnant wife sucks, huh? They're so unhelpful with everything. Can I get a screenshot? Um, Tony, you're going to want to delete your own. I don't think you can delete your own message. This is for blackmail purposes. This is for blackmail purposes against Tony. In case, I mean, Tony has literally never done... Like, if I needed to blackmail a mod, it would be Mars. Uh, Tony would literally never need to be blackmailed but i have it now <laughs> anyways how was your weekend how's everybody feeling how's uh how's the week been we're gonna play dark souls today i would love to hear about why you, uh how your weekend was really quickly before uh we do anything else here's the plan for the week uh it's gonna be a short little week we're playing dark souls today tomorrow we are uh playing uh, we're opening a million cards. Like, truly, I think it'll be like 77 or something like that. Uh, and then we're playing Dark Souls. 
um, a little bit shorter Dark Souls tomorrow. And then there is no stream for the rest of the week because uh, I'm going on a trip. So that's the plan. Hi, Dunny. How's it going? Hi, Yummy Jim. What's up? Been catching up with the Dark Souls VODs, and it's been so fun watching you explore. Made me finally go back and finish Dark Souls 1 my Dark Soul One myself. Hi, Yummy Jim. Welcome in. Nice to have you here. Hello. We get a warm welcome for... Uh... Why is my emo not working? Uh-oh. Not working. Was my USB sound chat? My my bad, my bad. That's me. That's me. That's me. Um, <clears throat> weekends, weekends, weekends. We did Easter, church, egg hunt, excellent food. I have an egg hunt story for you guys here in a little bit. My weekend had birds and plants and plants and birds. I love it, Kbell. Your uh, plant photos in the Discord were so pretty. So pretty. My roomie moved out, so I took his room, made my old room into an office. That was exhausting. That's exciting you have an office now, though. Went to my friend's 30th birthday here in Chicago, met a bunch of cool people. I love that. Survived a late 20s hangover. Oh, my God. Nothing hits harder than that. Rar says, I started playing Dark Souls a year ago. It was too hard. I stopped. Your playthrough has motivated me to play it again. I took off work tomorrow. I'm going to finish assembling the last of the baby furniture and decorating the nursery as a surprise for my wife. That's so good. Does she think you're working tomorrow? That's awesome. Never mind. We won't hold the blackmail against you. Okay, Tony, you're, you, you're good now. No more, no more blackmail. You've made up for it. Hi, mon ami. Happy Monday. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. My weekend was a good, productive mental health day, followed by a shitty day of feeling useless. I'm taking today off work. Aw, oh, Luke. Oh, no. My stream deck's not working. Uh-oh. My headphones stopped working. Oh, Jesus Christ. If there are USB sounds happening, I don't... Uh, I don't know. My bad. The fuck? Oh no! This is a problem because the thing that my my headphones are plugged into is also the place where my control controller is plugged in. And now I won't have any sound or a controller. Chat, is one of you pranking Ryan? I think so. It's just a prank hand. Does this still work? It was just a prank hand. I can't hear it, but it looks like it's working. Restart? Right, but that would involve getting the whole PC and stream restarted and everything. Um, I will if I have to, but okay, hold up, hold up. Let's just let's just let's just uh let's do some problem solving. Uh do I need a mouse? Mouse works, that's good. Do I need a Headphones work. Okay. Good news. Controller. Let's try controlling. That's a USB sound. Sorry about that. That's me. Holy shit. Play using the driving wheel. The funny thing is that also plugs into the same thing. Okay. 
Controller appears to be working. You can always play Dark Souls on mouse and keyboard. That's my USB sound. On mouse and keyboard? Let's give up all of our progress to try a, a new controller. You can't hear the USB sound? Okay, that's good. It's playing for me, but it's not playing for you, which is actually good because that means I have my audio set up correctly. Good. Oh, Lord. I think it's going to work. I think it'll be fine. I just don't have a stream deck right now. That's fine. Uh... Anyways, uh, I don't hear any sounds, just regular math sounds. Okay, good. Anybody have any uh, egg hunts this uh, this weekend for Easter? I We had Easter at uh, Megan's family. And I was entrusted. Normally, Megan and I hide the eggs, but Megan, in case you guys did not know, is pregnant. Uh, and so she did not hide the eggs this year. <laughs> I did. <clears throat> And I think I'm going to be fired from the egg hiding job. Uh, I think I'm going to be fired. I think I will never get to do it again. Because here's what happened. Uh, we hide eggs for, for my nephew, who's like, who's like 13, right? And my niece who's like 15 and in recent years megan and i just basically like scatter eggs around the yard for like five years now megan and i have just like scattered eggs around the yard there's a lot of eggs because uh because megan's mother is really nice and puts a dollar inside of everyone and then, <laughs> and then lets... megan's mother puts a dollar inside of every egg for the kids and then hides 100 eggs which is crazy. They each get like 50 bucks. It's insane. Um, wild. I know. I know. She hurt. She spoils their asses. It's great. Um, here's the deal. Normally, Megan and I just like toss eggs like crazy. This year, Megan wasn't hiding. And I was like, 13 dollars and uh, sorry, 13 years old and 15 year old. It's time to treat them like adults. It's time to take this shit seriously, I spent probably three times as long as I normally would. I hid the eggs as hard as I possibly could. Out of 100 eggs, we spent probably, normally we spend like 15 minutes getting eggs. We spent probably 45 minutes to an hour. We found 91 eggs. <laughs> I was trying. I couldn't help find them. I couldn't find them. I hid them, and I don't know where they are. We. <laughs> we. I don't know where the last nine are. The last nine eggs are taxes. They're actually in my pocket. Am I? You know? Am I right? I'm just kidding. Um. I, they'll probably hit them with the mower or something. I don't know. I was hiding green eggs inside of inside of like green grasses. I put I put some eggs inside of the grill. The grill should be off limits. Uh, I threw an egg up into a tree. Like I didn't like set it up in a tree where it was reachable. I threw it up into a tree and got it to stick there. Uh, <laughs> I buried an egg in some mulch. The eggs are supposed to be visible, right? Fuck that shit. I buried an egg in some mulch, and I made the tiniest little sliver of, of it hide, like, peek out from underneath the mulch. Um, I put one inside of a thorny rose bush. That one was visible, but really hard to get to. You're going to be such a good dad. I don't know that that's, uh, I don't know that that's, this, that, that, that lines up. <laughs> Why? Because I, I, here's the funny thing. You guys know you guys know my nephew Har because he's the one we play Fortnite with on stream occasionally. But uh, Har walked in the door and I was immediately talking shit. I was like, Har, if you find all of your eggs in 20 minutes, I'll pay you an extra 10 bucks. There's no way, Har. You'll, you're not finding all of them. There's no chance. And he was immediately like, right, he was like, he took it seriously. Anyways, I think I'm fired. Uh <laughs> 
We, uh, yeah, there's too many eggs didn't get found. I don't think I'm allowed to do it next year. So, yep. The Dark Souls of Egg Hunts. I was just trying to give them a really meaningful, difficult experience. Next year, you should hide the means to find some eggs inside other eggs. Like, one egg has a pair of wire cutters. Escape room style. You need an egg spreadsheet? I do need to remember where I put them. Honestly. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Tabaski says, that's great. My parents hid four eggs for me and my older brother with $5 in each of them. Hid a bunch of smaller eggs for the other kids. I found all four, then lost $20 playing poker with my brother. <laughs> Nothing screams Jesus is risen like losing $20 to your brother playing poker. I love that. My grandma used to hide actual hard-boiled eggs. Only took us one year of missing a few for her to move to plastic. <laughs> oh. <coughs> it was great. It was great. It was a lot of fun. Attach all the eggs to a tongle suit, then make them ca chase you. I will say, Nephew Har was like, kind of, he got, he got really into the idea. Niece, uh, our niece, who was like, 15 and a little less into the challenge of it. I think I also lost a couple cool uncle points with uh with her. I think she was like motherfucker. Motherfucker. This guy. And that's called trauma and that's called trauma. Happy belated uh trans day of visibility. Absolutely. Gallif, thank you for the screenshot in uh in tw in Discord. Thank you, thank you. I think you got an ounce of respect. Speaking of parenting, now is when we just hope and pray that that terrible lesson I taught them turns into a lesson of respect someday, right? You just that's that's parenting, right? Make a strong decision that makes their life a little bit harder, and then hope and pray it turns into a eventual like. Eventually, they learn to appreciate it. Just attach a lesson to everything, and then you always have a reason for parenting the way you parent. <laughs> lesson. You can't get everything you want, and that's the reason dad stole your PlayStation 4 and started playing on it. <laughs> lesson. You can't... With great... Privilege comes great responsibility, which is why I took your car keys and I hid them inside one of the 100 eggs. Good luck. You can drive to see your friends once you find them all. <clears throat> oh, you should walk around with your phone out and play Yahaha every time they find one. Also, you could just play Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways, 07s for those $9 that I think we're never going to get back. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hold up one second. I have to ban someone in, in uh, Instagram real quick. Or sorry, in Discord real quick. Anyways, let's play some Dark Souls. Any other uh, any other weekend highlights from anybody? Any other uh, highlights or lowlights? Anything? Uh... Oh, I didn't mean to pause that. Oops. <clears throat> Hi, Pingu Sticks. How's it going? You could do Korok style puzzles, hide some eggs under a rock, arrange them in a circle with one missing, etc. I love that. Korok style egg hunt is the Easter tradition I did not know that I did not that I needed until right now. Charlie says treats still need to go out. You're so right. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Who is the third treat? Because I only see Oliver and Carly on this list. Uh hi Kings, you want a treat?
Oliver, Carly, and Gallif. Thank you, Gallif. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pingu Stick says, I just came here as a longtime viewer, mostly on YouTube, uh, after your message. Welcome in. Warm welcomes for... Uh, my stream deck is broken, so I got to do it all manually. Little and... Uh, Meg. Do we have any uh, any other new viewers here today? I've seen at least a couple first-time chatters. If I missed a hello to you. Hello, thanks for being here. Thanks for popping into stream. We're going to play some uh, Dark Souls for the rest of the day. Um, Ray Hayes says, I went and I had dinner with my parents, played with their golden retrievers in the backyard for a bit since the weather was so nice. We had some really incredible weather here yesterday. Today, uh, less so, but really good. Hey, chat. Megan says, uh, send me all your good vibes. I'm going to need them today. Can I get an H in the chat to tell my wife that you love her? H is in the chat. She's working today. H is only. H is only. A full chat of H's. Hell yeah. You guys are the best. Thank you. Hi, Cherim. How's it going? All right. We love you. Big, big surprise when the, when the dishwasher broke this morning while we were in the middle of paying <laughs> hundreds of dollars to get our garage door fixed. Megan, Megan had a slight, slight breakdown. Also, I just want to be really clear because it happened a little bit last week and I don't ever want to make it seem this way. Uh, now that I'm like a 31 year old, going to be a dad, I'm just going to probably complain about, uh, stuff that happens around our house a little bit please know that i know that i live a very blessed life uh it's just it's just this is my place to talk to these talk about these things please never read it as a call to action to like support us financially or anything we're doing great we're doing fine please don't be like ryan's begging for support please it's not like that i just i just wanted the chance to complain about the dishwasher breaking on the day that the garage door is getting fixed right after the paint thing after the that's just that's just how it is i, j I just i'm just i'm just uh shooting the shit with you with you guys all right let's play some dark souls it really do be one thing after another sometimes sometimes but it can't be that way forever you know <laughs> right and also it's moments like that where you do really gotta, you do, you do really gotta, I mean, you do whatever you want, but what I gotta do in order to stay sane is keep the right perspective in terms of like focusing on what we are grateful for, what we are blessed with, what we are lucky for. We have, you know, Megan and I are really lucky people. We have a lot good going on in our life. Things are good. Um... <clears throat> What's the point of living without griping? LOL. Okay, so little little peek behind the scenes here for you guys. I have a button on my stream deck every day that I hit called slash marker, which types a slash marker in chat, which means that when I go to edit this into a YouTube video later, I know exactly what moment the stream starts. So I'm going to hit slash marker and I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to manually type it. Oh, hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to Dark Souls. Uh, we're playing Dark Souls. I mean, is there any chance that today's stream will be as successful as the last one? No, I don't think it can because last stream had three different boss victories plus i think some other exploring stuff that was you know sort of sort of like more more moral or like knowledge based victories um there's no way but i have said if we don't beat a boss on today's stream i will give 10 subs so first thing we got to we got to find a boss that's what we got to do what happens if i do that command don't do it tony <laughs> it would mess up my system i don't know you can try it if you want. 
Uh, hi, YouTube. Oh my gosh. Hi, little into you, Tube. I love that. It's April 1st as we're streaming this. Are you going to prank us by playing well today? Uh, first off, I think that's a rude... No, I won't be pranking you by playing well today. Because joke's on you, I don't know how to play well. That's outside of my wheelhouse. Here's what happened last stream. We defeated Capra Demon. We explored the place with the ghosts and the curse thing, transient curse that I have to use in order to hit them. We found a little lounging, hollow, undead person named Denise, Dan East. We found Barry Bolka has some friends called Terry Tinyhead and Mumblin Maurice or Hum, Hum and Harry or something like that. Uh, and Milady, Tips Fedora. We defeated a Stray Demon here at the Undead Asylum, which is where we are. Oh, wait, this is the last thing that we did. We had defeated Stray Demon. Uh, we also defeated... We explored a shit ton of the forest. We def defeated the butterfly. Exclamation DS bosses. What's the name, honestly, of that boss? It's like Moonlight Butterfly? Moonlit, moon, moonlit Butterfly? Moonlight. Okay. In two attempts. Yes, that's right. And that's what we've been up to. We defeated three bosses in one stream. We'll never, ever have that much progress again. So what are we up to today? I don't really know. There's some little, uh, there's some capital K knights around here that I would kind of like to try and defeat. Um, because I've never beat one and I feel like it's time to, to figure out how to do that. Uh, we need to explore. I honestly don't know what we're going to get up to today. I have a good long to-do list though. So we'll figure something out. Uh, we defeated straight demon. That's right. We defeated straight demon. It was an LGBT plus uh, victory. Straight demon is down. Um. <clears throat> hey, Ryan. Well wishes on the stream today. I'm a longtime YouTube lurker. Hi. Welcome in. Welcome to the cult. Hi. Mantis Cape. Thank you so much for the prime sub. That mean that's really really sweet. Thank you. And a great message. Thank you. So this guy, this guy down here, get a little binocular action. I feel like we can do this. Do we need to beat this person? No, because I think we actually already got the loot. But am I going to try? Yes. It's time we get good. We're so fast. Okay. All right. I didn't block that somehow. Okay, we're just gonna try and block everything. <gasps> Not the binoculars! No, we're dead. Okay. I sensed that the binoculars was a misplay. I sensed that that was a mistake. I don't know what you think. I don't know if you're sitting there thinking, no, no, that was secretly a genius play. But I sensed that might have been a mistake. Whoops. Binoculars are the secret meta. It'd be kind of cool if they were the secret meta. Like if there was secretly something you could do with the binoculars other than zoom into shit. Binoculars from 10 feet away was an incredible intimidation stat. Strat. Okay, we're just gonna nickel and dime I think is our play here. Okay. I have to make sure that you're not attacking. Can we kick you here? Okay. We hate that because that takes a lot of our stamina. Okay. Come here. Come here. You don't always do three attacks after the shield bash. But sometimes... That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, no. Okay. We're fine. We blocked it. We blocked it. Okay. Can I get behind you? Okay, can I get behind you? Okay. We can do this, honestly. I think we can do this. Belief in the chat if you think I can do this. Oh, shit. I blocked that. Little into belief, please. 
I need it. Desperately. Your belief fuels me. Oh, I tried to do two. Why did I try and do two, guys? No block. No, now we're behind you. Oh, God. Now we're stuck on you. Oh, God. Heal. Please don't get hit. Okay. Need to heal. Okay. <laughs> that was a, an inch from absolutely wrecking my shit. Look at all that belief in the chat. It fuels me. This is the real test right here. Can we defeat one of these guys? I've gotten him down to about half health. Half is being generous. Being real generous. Black Knights are so attractive. Can we get a bonk in chat for our, uh, our friend Rar? Is this a boss? Nope. For Ryan it is. Rude. Correct, though. Oh, that hit me. That hit me. I should... Oh. Shit. Heal here. Timed it well. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Let me just squeeze... Let me just... Oh! Midwestern. Oh! Let me just... Squeeze past you. Okay. All right. All right. The slowest fight you've ever seen. Hi, Snoo Snoo. Just turn turning into the run. What bosses has he beaten so far? Yep. We got exclamation DS bosses in chat. The other thing I would say is... If you're new here, and I know we have some new friends, not just Snoo Snoo. If you're new here, I should say this once per stream just to be careful. Uh, on our stream, we do things a little differently than you may have seen on other Twitch streams or YouTube channels. Uh, we have a really uh, robust... I was going to say strict. That makes it sound bad. We have a really robust no backseating, no spoilers, no tips, no info policy. Uh, we play games in a specific way, which is as quote-unquote blind as I can make them, meaning with no info, I'm playing in offline mode, no tips from chat, uh, no references to future bosses, stamina, stamina, uh, so just a reminder, it's also pinned at the top of the chat, thank you Carly, or, or mods, whoever it was, oh I got greedy, oh it's fine. This is going to take the rest of the stream. But I think we can now kill these knights. As long as we play really slow, block to repost, to find our window to get a single slash in. And the good news is, I'm pretty sh Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I have one heal left. No! I'm pretty sure they stay dead when you kill them. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. That was my last heal. Fuck. I do have humanity if I need it. Can I get past you? Please? No. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. We don't help Ryan. We just critique him. And even then, you guys are good about critiquing in ways that don't give me information. It's not like... Hey, you suck. Do this more. Oh, no. Okay, I got the block off. Holy God. He's got so little HP. So little. Okay, how about this? Do you like poison knives? <gasps> no! I threw! Liland, are you Liland Yeb? <laughs> Liland you, Liland Yeb. Shit.
<laughs> Good night, sweet prince. I have so many regrets. Classic oh. Mark, Lillian, Mark. Mark? Yeah, yeah. Let's blame Mark and not Ryan. Yep, that's right. That's right, Pexy. I like where your brain's at. Mark Von Hiarline just decided to try and flex on this night. And that was the problem. Not the fact that Ryan got overconfident. <laughs> Slash was dumb. God damn it. Ryan is farming sense five head. I'm farming sense? How am I farming sense? I think I'm mostly farming. <gasps> I got a backstab! Oh, you can do it! Holy shit! I don't know that I knew that. Actually. Um <clears throat> On these guys, I didn't know you if you could do it. Okay, we play close now. We need stamina. There it is. You gotta lock the camera back on afterwards. Big stab, that didn't do any damage. Hell yeah. We've got the system down now, chat. Oh shit, I tried to... We have the system down, for sure. I need to heal. I need to heal. Oh no, mistakes. Start your action. Is that good enough? Uh, that's, that's good timing. Get me behind you. Get me behind you. I need to get in your butt. I need to look at your butt. Excuse me. Uh, hi, I'm the butt doctor. I need to take a closer look. Uh, we've seen something concerning on our tests. It's right up in this part, of, in this, excuse me, sir, please let me do my job. It's right in this part of your butt that the problem area is. Just let me, ins just let me ins insert, is probably the wrong word to use here. There it is. We know how to do it. It's also really important for men's health to uh, actual dead serious. I probably shouldn't joke about this as a person who's lost a family member to prostate cancer, but it's important to get your prostate checked. Red tight night chuck. Uh, plus nine reinforced to fire weapon. Plus four reinforced to chaos weapon. Tight night chuck for weapon reinforcement. Red tight night has powerful fire energy. Reinforces fire weapons to plus nine, cast to plus four. With the discovery of chunks in Lord Ram, the race to locate the legendary slabs has begun, but could they be mere myth? I'm pretty sure they're not because I have one right here. They're not myth. They're right here. <clears throat> is this your Dark Souls colorectal health PSA? Absolutely. Oh, sorry, you said this is. Yeah, this is. <laughs> but here's the thing. The only thing we get from that in terms of loot is the thing I just read. I forgot about that. The thing I just picked up. And also, confidence, because we have already been down here to grab our items, because this is where we woke up. But we just got some confidence, and that's important, too. <clears throat> now, I'm pretty sure there's another knight uh, somewhere along in this area, in the Stray Asylum. Or the, sorry, the uh, Undead Asylum area. You should get your prostate checked, but not with an am by an amateur with a sword. I mean, as long as you're getting it checked. I'd let Black Knight check it! Exclamation bonk! Did we read that? I did read it. I did. All right, let's go this way. Let's not wait. Wait. First off, we 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 rest. Thank you. We don't get hit by the 
the ball? I think the ball is, uh... Maybe is only once. Right here. Is the ball only once? Yep. Okay. I swear there's another, like, knight character around here. We had that guy there. This way? I think it's this way. And I don't know where this goes. Honestly. Oh, God! That's rude. That's rude as hell. That's rude as shit. I need to heal. Can I get out of here? Thank you. Oh my god. What are we playing? Outlast? I'll stab you. I'm the butt doctor. Here to check your booty. Come out here in the wide open where I can... Where there's some better light. Somewhere it's like... Uh, can you just lift up the back of your chain... Chain mail a little bit? Just... I know. It's awkward for all of us. Yep, just gonna take a quick little glimpse. Welcome back, Evo. We're checking prostates. I have to stop doing things that are gonna get this channel demonetized. <laughs> get this series demonetized. I gotta stop. Is this HIPAA compliant? There, in no way is this HIPAA compliant. Is this guy better or am I worse? There it is. Take like the opportunity to heal. Lock on. Lock on! There we go. Who need YouTube money when you have Patreon? Uh, I don't know that that's how that works. Shout out to the Patreon supporters, though. All right, we can do this. Backstab more like butt stab. Get him in the butt. It's so satisfying when you get him in the butt. Don't take that out of con uh, context. Now, while I'm sitting here doing this, I need to be thinking about the fact that... Weapon at risk. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I need to be thinking about the fact that I'm pretty sure, in terms of these knights, we have the one... That guards the item we already got. Uh, so that one we don't really need to beat. There's one by the dragon. That's right. That's where the other one is. It's on like the... It's sort of... It's not actually by the dragon, but it's sort of close. Oh my god, I'm going to be sick. Too much spinning around. Backstab? Backstab? Nope. Backstab? Nope. Come here. Oh my god, a Sekiro quote about Gooches? We've been the same person the entire time. Quote 1169, does he have a six pack? I've been focused on his Gooch the entire time. We've always been... We haven't changed at all. We've always been... Oh, no. We've always been... Uh, how would you say? Gooch... Uh, Gooch focused? Gooch inspired? Always been living in the Gooch. All right, real quick. Let's get like 200 of uh, souls. So that I can heal my weapon. I don't want to do this shit again. Without healing the weapon at least a little bit. I've always been gooch positive here at Indigestion Incorporated. Oh my god. Tony's just... Tony's searching the quotes. We're going to get really familiar with your gooch. Oh, that's the most recent one. Oops. <laughs> I was born in the gooch. You really adopted it. 
almost two years to the month. I'm pretty sure we've played. The thing is with Sekiro that I think we started it in like December or January, but every spring we have been playing a Dark Souls game. Um, Uchi Katana, we repair. And we should also just go ahead and repair like this with what we have. Cool. All right. Did I add one to the death counter? I think I did. Hi, living carcass. Wait, wrong way, wrong way. By the Gucci I was born, by the Gucci I shall pass from this life. You know what they say, ashes to ashes, Gooch to Gooch. I could go all day, chat. We could do this literally all day. Chat, what have we been up to today? Just exploring the rest of the asylum. Yeah, we're just trying to, well, we. I think we'd pretty much explored. Now it's mostly, die! Still couldn't find you. It's mostly just time to kill these guys. Shit. Timing on that is real bad. Hi, score monkey. How's it going? We figured out how to backstab him. Well, we've we've figured out how to sometimes backstab them. Is what I should say. We've killed one. We've died at least twice. It's just a patience thing, and I'm not as patient as I could be. Turns out. Well, good hunter. May you find your gooch in the waking world. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is gooch censored? Uh, that must be your personal uh, Twitch settings. It is not censored for us, but um, you you can have personal settings that that um, censor uh, certain words on this website. I believe. I'm guessing it's your personal setting. Okay, I see you. Come to me. Come out this way. I can see the gooch. Raise your hand in chat if you can see the gooch. I have to stop. Does anybody have that thing with Gooch that people have with Moist where they like, it's just a, a, a sort of like the sound of the, not the meaning, but the sound of the word itself um, causes some, you know, some discomfort. Actually, that's probably not the case with Moist. Moist is pro- oh shit. Moist is probably, for most people, at least partially, uh, meaning as much as it is pure sound. Gooch, I feel like, might be the sound alone, you know? Somehow he blocked. I don't get that shit, but whatever. All we do here is we practice our backstabs and we practice our deflections. That hit, but then at what cost, you know? I need to heal. Okay, I need to heal, so I'm gonna go this way just a little bit. Timing, timing, timing. Good timing, good timing. The thing about Gooch is that it is not I got hit again, god damn it. Is that it is not a plus, like there are some words that when said out loud are a truly like, they are emblematic of, of UT in language. Gooch is not one of them. You know, now I'm trying to think of a word that does this, but like in a weird way, discombobulate does it. Discombobulate is not a sexy or like, it doesn't have a lot of in inherent poetry to it, but it does have a like, a silliness to it in terms of like language. There we go. 
What are some words that sound poetic, like super poetic and, um... Like the sound of them is your favorite. I had a Gooch filter on, I guess. I fixed it. The Gooch is now visible from my phone. Serendipity and serenity are both great words. Great words. Epoch. Loam. Ephemeral. Ooh! Malevolent. Malevolent is a genius version of this. Malevolent. The double L's. Coale coalescence, actually. Vacuous. Malevolent is perfect. Clandestine. Clandestine's fun because... And here's here's my hot take on clandestine. Clandestine is fun because it is... I'm just going to go heal because we need to... I don't, well, I don't know what's down here. I think there's more enemies down here. If there are, then we definitely need to heal. If not, we'll be fine. Clandestine, I think a lot of the poetry of it comes from the fact that it looks like it should be pronounced... It looks like a bunch of uglier sounding words. With the with the it looks like clandestine or clansed tine. It looks like uglier words, but it is not. Clandestine. These are all the places where we, we learned all this stuff, sure. Okay, I think that's everything here. We we farmed these guys for some red titanite chunks. And now we're chilling. I think Stray Asylum is basically... Sorry, Undead Asylum is basically done minus the uh, Warm and Soft. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check this off. Iconoclast is a great one. Holy shit. Nonchalant. Are we talking about favorite obscure words we're saying? Yo, 20 months, I teapot. We're saying, what are some words that meaning removed, they sound uh, beautiful or some version of beautiful? Like, I think discombobulated is not a beautiful word, but it is a fun word. Um, stipulated is a good one. Stipulate. And our, and our main example, our sort of iconic, cannot be topped example of this is, of course, Gooch. Okay, Knights and Asylum checked. All right. Dope. Let's get out of here. Dope, dope, dope. Hi, RJ. It sounds like Brian won't let you use the word gooch. I, I, I am sorry to tell you. Brian will not read the word gooch out loud. Ah, I'm on fire. Oh, I'm... I'm two on fire. I'm dead. Fuck. I'm back. I realized I've spent a whole year watching your content without any naughty words. Dead. All right. Listen. Come here, you little turds. One at a time, please. One at a time. Now, I said one at a time. All right, let's go uh, explore on the, uh, probably like the mainland, like the, the main area, I think. Grab these bags that we have a whole bunch of, of souls. Here's the other thing. Last time we were here, let's go ahead and check it because we may not be back here in a while. There it is. You, you, give me warm, give me soft. All right, we're trying it. We're trying it. Uh, give me warm, give me soft. We're gonna drop this again. Can I use it here? No. Happy Easter, everybody. By the way, these eggs. <gasps> uh, 
I still have it. I still have the item. I thought for a second I didn't pick it up and I died. Fuck me sideways. Holy shit. Classic. I gotta kill these turds again. So what are we else? What else are we up to today? By the way, masticate is a great one. Who said that? RJ. Masticate is a, a lovely word to learn. I remember the first time I learned masticate. I was like, there. The ugly normal everyday word chew has a poetic alternative. I can die happy. Masticate. Uh, ooh, cacophony. Cacophony's good. One of my favorites uh, is uh, the double hard E of ethereal. Ethereal? Did we? Did somebody say that already? Ethereal with the double you, hard E. Uh, you give me warm. Give me uh, soft. Give me warm. Give me soft. Viscera. Hot take. Viscera is a weird one because you should be able to hear the. I, I think viscera would be more pleasant as some version that allows you to hear the sea. I think the sea should be included in some way. I don't know. Viscera sounds bad, but it, there should be a way to include the sea. It's too soft of a word without a, without a hard sea. There's got to be a way to make this shit work, and I don't know what to do. Also, the thing I'm thinking uh, we do next in this game is that I got the... I got this. Wait a second. Yeah, yeah. I got this from uh, Defeating Moonlight Butterfly. And we don't... And I have an idea. I think it's probably by the Hydra. Um, we might try that. We did the depth. We started the depths, but we didn't go very far into it, right? I don't know. Or was that the other way around into the... No? That's the place by Vihihi. These are all rhetorical questions. Hmm. <clears throat> viscous? The, the fun thing... I've said this before. The fun thing about Viscous is that it sounds... Here's another... This is a different category, right? Viscous, to me is a word that sounds like what it means. Viscous is such a slow moving liquid type of like sounding word, right? Cause that's a whole, there's, there's like words that are just beautiful in how they sound. There's words that their sound elicits or like in some way uh, gives the feeling of the thing that they mean. Jug, first off horny bonk. Second off, jug is the perfect word for a jug, right? Like that big, like to be clear, we're talking about holding water. Like that big, big, wide, heavy jug is such a perfect sound for. It's got the U, which evokes like large knit. Oh shit! It's got. That's all right. I need to sleep anyways to rest at this bonfire. It's got the U, which like evokes largeness. It's got the the hard G of like something plopping down heavy into water or something. Like it's blubber sounds like what it is. Perfect word for that. Which is why Flubber is a genius movie. I haven't watched it in 20 years. I kind of want to rewatch it now. I prefer the word bazonga for reserve <laughs> for to a large vessel for carrying water. You know, as people do. Bazonga, of course. Okay. Uh, first things first. I'm just kind of having fun killing knights. Now that I know what to do, it's fresh in my mind. So let's go kill some knights. We're going to go up here. Uh, I have not read it, Warsmith. Hi, right, come here. Come fight me so I don't get blown up on fire. What about Zap? That is absolutely this category of like, it's not onomatopoeia, but it's like onomatopoeia light or something, you know? Okay, we are farming souls out here. Is it weird that I like the word uh, schadenfreude? No. 
Also, is it Schadenfreude or Shaden? It's Schaden, right? Schadenfreude. I like. I love that word. Actually. Transcendental. Hear me out. Transcontinental. Transcendental is good. Transcontinental. Anything with uh. Anything with trans at the start of it. Period. Transcontinental. Transatlantic. Transatlanticism. Best death cap album. It's not actually. It's probably second. Uh, transponder. Can I tell you? I have no idea what the word transponder means. Ah, I'm on fire. Transponder. Um, transponder. Transponder. Now I don't even know if I'm saying it or not. Transponder. Is that a like communication thing? It's a. Is that a uh, communication thing? It's like a beacon. A transponder is a transponder. Thank you so much for your service here, public. Um, I hate the word poor. Ooh, P-O-R-E, for instance, or, or specifically. Poor. Ooh, how would you describe how you hate it? Because I, I can maybe see it. I hate the poor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We are not the same. Zach hates the poor the word. Deku hates the poor. Jesus Christ. We are not the same. All right. Let's go uh, kill the knight that we don't need to kill because it will get us a piece of loot. And I'm having fun talking about words while I do it. My, this is my favorite part of stream where we just list the words that we know. It's amazing how much easier this game gets when you use a shield. Honestly, make that a quote. Make that. I never, ever, ever request specific quotes, but you can quote me on it and you should. It's amazing how much easier this game gets when you use a shield. Dark Souls, April 1st, 2024. Quote it mostly for historical reasons because I need to remember that at one point I was like, this game's fucking easy when you use one. You know? Because it is. It's easier when you use a shield. IDK, you could be joking. You know me, I never joke about things as serious as Souls one games. Shields are just less fun for me. Is dying fun for you? Kidding. I don't think I'll use them all the time, but man, I really like it right now. It's also funny because I've never had the chance to use a shield. Like, unless I missed major parts of the game, I don't think there was a shield in Dark Souls or Sekiro. I mean, you do parrying instead, but like, you know. I, it's kind of new for me. I wouldn't know I'm good. I'll get there someday. Hmm. Thank you, Tony. You heard him, folks. Quote him. He hates the poor. That's not true. We are going to try and kill this bitch, though. Come here, you little turd. Backstab? Backstab? Nope. Okay. Since you're the first one, are you easier or are you exactly as difficult as your friend? Oh, I took damage. You might be easier. That didn't hit as hard. I think I'm hitting you for more. I think you're easier. I'm still taking lots of damage here. Ooh. There are shields in Bloodborne. There's a joke shield in Bloodborne to make fun of Dark Souls players. Wait, now that's me. Wait, now I'm the player they're making fun of. Oh, that's funny. Listen, you can't argue with results, though. Shields got me three boss kills last stream. Right? I mean... A normal Titanite chunk. Interesting. Okay. Can't argue with the results. 
to avoid dis discussing DLC items? Bloodborne DLC item? I mean, we can avoid discussing Bloodborne and Sekiro for people who haven't played them, but... Hi, friendos. GL with the soul slaying. Oh, Bloodborne DLC? Sorakino, thank you very much for the sub. Thank you for the prime sub. Can we get some hearts in chat to say thank you? Oh, you said, oh, Bloodborne DLC. Is there a... Uh... Is there a Dark Souls DLC? Um, front seat question? Yes or no? Uh, is there a Bloodborne DLC? Sorry, a Dar Dark Souls DLC? Yes or no? Just yes or no? Just looking for a yes or no answer? Yes. Has DLC. Okay. Uh, logistical question because I'm curious. How do I know if I have it? <laughs> uh, let me... Sorry, that's a rhetorical question. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, you already have it. Okay, thank God. Okay. I was like, how do I know if I get it? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. That's good news. Is this locked? Oh, this is where this goes. Nope, that's not what I thought. I thought it went to the, uh, the wizard's tower place. Okay, dope. I was honestly gonna, I forgot that this door existed. That is so lucky. I forgot that that door existed. I was honestly planning on going all the way to, uh, sun, to, uh, the place where the, the guy who stares at the sun to see if the sunlight metal meant anything to that person. And I still could do that, but, um, I did not remember that this door existed. Hell yes. I'm going to go to the other guy first because I want to do that. Um, he's this way. And then off on the little left balcony. You guys are up there shooting stuff. Teletubby sun guy. Exactly. Teletubby sun guy. Who I haven't seen in forever because we haven't been on this end of the map for forever either. I was looking out the window, but look. Large soul of a lost undead. And that's why you break items. Remasters has the DLC by default. Okay, that's fantastic, because then I don't have to worry about getting it. How do I get out there? It kind of looks like I can get out there. Or at least that I could walk along this ledge. I don't see any items, but... break these just in case. We've come a long way since we were last in this area, Jack. Killed a lot of bosses. We've learned a lot about the game, including the fact that I can jump. Would it be spoilery for Ryan to ask how long it takes to beat Dark Souls? Uh, I'm not going to ask, because I had first off, I'd looked it up at one point already. Um, a long time ago. And uh, second off, I'm at this point, I don't need to know. I may ask in the future, but for now, I'm chilling. Hey, friend. How's it going? Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Like a magnificent father, the sun is only there about half the time? Grossly incandescent, by the way. Incandescent should be on our list of words. Amazing word. Oh, hello there. I was hello there. To General the Kenobi. The Can I give you my medal? Body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. You know what part from Bloodborne this this little this little area right here reminds me of? I'm going to say this in ways that I think are to mostly to avoid spoilers. This reminds me of a little There's like a balcony outside of a school where one person is sort of sitting in a chair staring at the distance. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, hello, this is phone. Okay, same line every time. Can I get out onto the ledge though? There's a website called uh, How Long to Beat um, in case anyone wants to look at the playtime for this or any other game. I will say the one thing that I ever allow myself to do before uh, playing games blind is I will use that mostly for logistics because I want to like try and make sure that I can play a game before, um, you know, before for, for like streaming or YouTube purposes. And I always go with the completionist number, and then I still add about another 20% <laughs> onto that. Because uh, I play games slow and also completionist. They need a new category on how long to beat called completionist, but also slow. <laughs> okay, this goes down here. We know that, cool. So now I need to get over to let's go let's go check the thing we unlocked and then we still have one more night with a capital K to beat. Hmm. Okay. I'm usually somewhere between the main only and completionist duration. Yeah, we can't go that way because we'll get our ass lit up by this dragon. <gasps> Unless... Do we walk with shield out here? Wait a second. What if we just walk with shield out? Gargoyle shield out? Gargoyle shield has like 65 fire reduction. Right? I faced the wrong way. Okay, everybody's dead now. We're facing this way. If we die, I want to die over by this, uh, by this stairwell so I can get my stuff really easily. Okay, that's gonna kill me. Never mind. That's gonna kill me! We're using all of our heals here. This is very dumb. Hold the fucking. Nope. Okay, one more. We're tanking. We're tanking. That worked out really badly. Okay. Um, we can do this. We can do this. Talon Ranker says, my favorite part of all your playthroughs is where you spend 30 plus minutes uh, reading all the lore, close reading and figuring out the lore. That's your favorite part. Is your least favorite part where I spend 30 minutes close reading and fail to figure out the lore? Because that's my least favorite part. <laughs> Hear me out. Let's run backwards here. This is a dumb idea. Why am I even saying this out loud? Okay. We want to get to that door we did, but I don't really want to fight the dragon. So hear me out. What if we go here and then just run? We take a little bit of damage, but honestly, overall, it's fine. Don't do it again. You hit me, you little shit. There we go. Uh, Ryan, do you want a minor mechanical thing you can do in this game that is purely for quality of life? Uh, good question. I would say for now I'm okay. Ooh. Hmm. Is it, uh, Zach, can I ask if it's with the way that I use the menu? Is it with, like, uh, menus slash UI? Let 
Let me tell it to spoilery chat, let the mods decide. No, I think it's more, I, I, I appreciate that, Jirdan. I would say I'm more into like, I don't really want to open up any cans of worms at this moment kind of thing. But if it's a, uh, I'm not, I'm not, maybe later uh, we can do like, let mods decide kind of thing. But for now I'm, I'm pretty cool with like, I think I'm generally cool with struggling with mechanics and even like quality of life things. Uh, and the closer we get to the end of the game, the more likely I am to open any cans of worms like that. Anyways, uh, this is the door that we unlocked. This is the, just cause it, it, it helps me keep it as simple as possible. Um, this is the basement of the watchtower. It forms a stone cell. There are rumors of a hero turned hollow who was locked away by a dear friend for his own good. I hope to find out who the friend is and who the hollow was. I think I lean towards no. I think I lean towards no for an answer. Oh, this thing goes down. Okay. Thanks for offering those, Zach. And thanks for checking with me the way you checked with me. We're going down, down. In an earlier round, which is the, oh my God, what are you where? What are you holding? My my friend. What is that? What's your deal? Can we talk? Are you wearing? something made of tree bark it kind of looks like you're made of tree bark maybe stone i love your armor can i have your armor what's the weapon i have questions are you beating me with a giant femur or is that a fang it looks like you're holding a fang my friend Give me a backstab here. There it is. There it is. Hi, KP Killshot. How's it going? Oh, it makes a satisfying noise when it, when it hits. There it is. Okay. I'm getting better at the backstab. Here's what I'm learning. I need to run up against them a little bit more often. I can't just be behind them. I also have to be... And this is going to sound sexy, and I, I want you to know that it's not meant to be sexy. I can't just be behind them. I have to be behind them and also pressing up against them from behind. You, If you read that as sexy, that's on you, to be clear. I was mechanically describing how to attack. If you read that as sexy, that's on you. I'm getting good at it though, holy shit. The hubris will be very soon. The hubris, The hubris is coming. That's not the only thing that's coming. Okay, never mind. That one's on me. And that's where I'll take the blame on that one. And that one's on me. Ow, good hit, good hit. This thing drains my stamina when it hits. Ooh. I'm not trying to let this guy hit it. Now I'm just trying. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. All right, all right. Things not to say in a fight if you're trying to make it not sexy. Oh, baby. I'm proud of us. I feel like we're getting the backs. I feel like today's lesson is like a, a lesson in how to backstab. Oh. <gasps> That motherfucker! Oh shoot, did I just hit up? I think I just hit add one and remove one from the counter at the same time. I think we're at 142. Is that right? Backstabbed. Damn! He lit me up! 
Was that the hubris? I knew I should have waited to say the things like I'm proud of how we're learning to backstab until after the enemy was dead. But that's on me. Damn. Just gonna close the door on you? Oh shit, I missed the door. I missed the door. Door strap. He fucked me up. We'll just run past you guys, right? This will be fine. Don't shoot me with the arrow. Run past all you guys. You were winning until you weren't. It was going so well. Can I close this door? Nope. So 142 is correct. Okay, thank you, Jiradon. You're the best. Thank you. I was pretty sure I accidentally hit page up and page down are the buttons I use to add one to the death counter, and I thought I hit both, so yeah. He got tired of the gooch smooch? Why did you have to call it that? The gooch smooch? Mark Von Hiar lines? Signature move is the gooch smooch? <laughs> we had the spin to win in Bloodborne? We had, we didn't have a name for it in Sekiro. Maybe it was just Perry to Mary or something like that, but it's the Gooch Smooch. Okay, we can't get hit. Okay, cannot get hit. Shield has to be up. Press up against him from behind. Listen, it's not weird. It's not weird. Stop it. Stop freaking out. Come over here, over here, over here. No, not down the stairs. Good hit, good hit. Good smooch. Just a little. Oh, that's still, oh my God, that almost killed me. That one's hard because you don't know where he's going. You don't know where that shit's gonna land. I try and get lined up for the next hit and then This is where you gotta press up against his back. You gotta, you gotta. Sometimes I don't trigger the, the backstab because I'm not actually. <clears throat> Pressed up against. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> oh, you take fall damage? Come here, buddy. Started listening. The first thing I heard was Gooch Smooch. Gotta love little indigestion. Oh, welcome to stream. Shield! Oh, God. There it is. This is the one you can't get. I guess we just can't get distracted, right? If you'll just one-shot me? I hope you drop a special weapon. Please drop this weapon when you're done. I want to see whose fang this is. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. There's a fine technique to gooch mooching, and you can learn how to do it in my three installment of $20 online marketplace course. I still had stamina! What? Wait, let's see. No, shoot, what? How did that even happen? The fuck? At least we are absolutely farming souls on these runs. We get a couple souls by killing all these people on the way over. Damn. 360 no scopes me, basically, yeah. I tried 
tried to close the door. It didn't work. Okay, you're all dead. Run past. Ryan, the second I posted, Ryan might actually kill this guy. Three seconds later, you died. What can I say? I'm a man of exquisite timing. Sorry, I got you killed. Yes, I blame you. And not me. Okay, all right, come here. All right, oh no, come here. Remember Ryan not to put, god damn it. <laughs> oh my god, this reminds me. Speaking of nut to butt and gooch and all that stuff I need to stop saying out loud. Um I have a new favorite account that I follow on Instagram. There's an there's an account on Instagram which is simply called NASCOM. The logo is basically the NASCAR logo. The spelling of the name is as if it were NASCAR, except it is called NASCOM. And it is simply out of context clips of NASCAR announcers saying things like, like, like a, a, a car is like making a run on the outside. They're like, they're, they're, they're going for a pass on the outside kind of thing. They're like, they're, they're, now I'm uh, str struggling not to use the word. They're like, um, they're, they're speeding up along the outside and, and looking to overtake. And the announcers say things like, uh, he's coming hard right up on his flat. On his flat. It's just out of context clips. It's called NASCOM and I watch every single one. It's my favorite. It's like that uh, that famous clip of the, uh, I couldn't even tell you what basketball uh, TV personality it is, but the one about like being in the paint and like a really physical basketball player and a really physical uh, set of, of, Jesus Christ, that move is scary. Of like moves in the paint where he's like, they're banging and you're banging on your, on the guy. You're banging on the guy. I'm such a sucker. <laughs> okay, it's fine. This guy scares the shit out of me. Are you my nemesis? Are you actually the hardest boss in the game? You would also appreciate this Instagram account called Walamrat. Is it, why it's Walmart misspelled? What's the account? What's it, what's it do? I'm not generally a like meme account kind of person, but there's something about fuck. No, I didn't have full stamina there, so that's probably why. But holy shit, there's just something about uh, the like very earnest nature of sports announcers that when something is said. When something can be taken out of context by a sports announcer, it just sounds so funny to me. Close the door. See you later. All these guys. Oh my god, the bodies are going flying. Can we take bets on non bosses? We tend not to, but if I <laughs> if we keep dying, we could. I don't know, it depends on what you guys want. And what the mods are up for. Is that guy gonna chase me or are you gonna leave me alone? plan to play the other Souls games and uh, Elden Ring after you finish this playthrough? 
It won't be directly after, but I will absolutely 100%. You can you can you can clip this. You can quote me on it. Uh I will 100% play Dark Souls 2 and 3 and Elden Ring and also Demon Souls. Uh The 3 games have just been so absolute banger quality that like the thing is, I won't play them, like, one after the other. Like, after a Souls game, the, especially the, like, quote-unquote thorough <laughs> way I play them, uh, I tend to take a break and do something else. Um, in that order, I will probably not play Elden Ring uh, until I have played at least Dark Souls 2 and 3. Uh, but I reserve the right to make a change on that eventually. But it'll be, it'll be some time. If you're, like... Uh, if you're like me and I can't wait to spend the next couple months watching Ryan do this stuff, unfortunately, that won't be the timing. It'll be, we're playing Dark Souls. My goal is to get it finished before we have a kid. The problem is we're basically any any day now, we're in like any day now territory. Does that make sense? Uh, on that front, fuck me. So, I can't really control that. Oh no, oh no, that's me dead. I swear to God. Uh, Carly, go for it. I'd say run one. Let's call this character Stone Lord. I don't know why. Does Ryan defeat Stone Lord? I was wondering, can I drop game suggestions someplace? You can drop game suggestions wherever you want. Uh, in Discord, here in Twitch chat, I'm a little bit less likely to read them in Twitch chat a lot of times just because I'm trying to catch up with a lot of messages. You can at me on Twitter. You can write them in YouTube comments. I take any and all game suggestions anytime you want. Anytime you want. Thank you, Carly. Predictions live if you want to predict on Stone Lord. One minute prediction because Carly's the best. I'm going to go get set up to die to this motherfucker. Oh, no. Not a, not a kick. Oh, God. The one, the one kind of interesting thing about Dark Souls will be, uh, or sorry, about Souls, about FromSoft games, is I may play Demon Souls before I play Elden Ring. I may play Demon Souls next. I have no idea. Demon Souls is the one part that's like a little bit of a question mark about when I would play it. Because I, I do want to play it. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll play it last, if I'll play it next. God, I love Demon Souls. Yeah, I listen. These games are pure gold. It would be crazy. It would be crazy to skip any one of them. Uh, Lord Dotsy Dot says, nice. I'll drop it in Discord sometime then. Sounds good. Also, if you're ever like, hey, I want to check, has Ryan played X game or played Y game? Exclamation playthroughs in the chat. Uh, we have a, a Google sheet, which has every YouTube playthrough, Twitch playthrough, all that jazz. Links to where you can find them. Uh, in case you're like, has he played the game that I want to suggest? I'm a little newer here, or I've only been here for, I've only been a cult member for three months. Ooh, that's the one that gets me every time. I'm sorry, Bloobies. I fucked up. I fucked up bad. Demon Souls is the one FromSoft Souls game I haven't played. Is it uh, uh, PlayStation exclusive? Is that right? I knew Bloodborne was. Bloodborne was one of the reasons I wanted a PlayStation. That and The Last of Us, but... Damn, I got my shit wrecked. Oh, I tried to close the door and I whiffed. Original was PS3 only. The remake is PS5 only. I... For, forgive me as well, because I have asked... I'm sure some of the people in this chat I have asked that question before. 
and I never remember the answer. Okay, can I just run past you? Okay, then can I hit you? Nope. I don't want to get bowed. I don't want to get cross aired and bowed. Cross bolt. Cross, cross bolt. You have a PS5. I do. Welcome to the cult. Uh, Tabowski, thank you for the sub. Holy cow. Gotta remember the kick. There we go. Uh, Demon Souls 3, sorry, Demon Souls Remake has some, has some downsides, Zach. Pretty sure the community funded one for him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, so the community kept saying, uh, this is, this was a couple years ago at this point now, or a year and a half ago or whatever. Um, hey, start a PS5 fund, please. Start a PS5 fund, please. Uh, and I didn't want to do that. So instead, I bought myself a PC or a PlayStation 5, and then very, very kind people in chat just donated anyways. And then I wrote all their names on the PlayStation. So I can show it to you in a second. I have a PlayStation with members of chat's names on it because uh, people were sweet and donated uh, to, like, fund it, which they didn't need to do, but that was very sweet of them. I kind of considering just running, leaving, buying, like, two stamina levels... And then seeing if this fucker can still kill me with the, with no, if I have more stamina. Oh, that's the other thing is that I had bought a PlayStation. That's right, Evo. Good point. I had bought a PlayStation because I wanted to surprise people with The Last of Us. And spoiler chat was like, hey, can we start a secret GoFundMe? Like, like you know, not GoFundMe, but like, can we start a secret uh, fund for a PlayStation? And Meg was like, uh, uh, oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Let me heal down here. Meg was like, uh, no need to do that. Cause I literally already had a PlayStation on the way. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Okay. Come here. Don't hit me. Let me get behind you. There we go. Hi, Jeff. How's it going? That's the one. We don't want to get hit by that. Okay. We don't want to just take a front attack just to drain our own stamina and get set up. There we go. Backstabs are the way. Patience is the key. Patience is the key here. If we get hit, I think it's if we get hit like straight on with either full stamina or a little bit less than full stamina, we die. So it's mostly just don't get hit straight on by the super powerful attack. Backstab, we play it nice and passive. Remake is identical, identical gameplay wise. This is where I need to not read chat for two seconds. Uh-oh, that's... Okay, okay. Different dev team made it. They made some artistic changes that are inferior in terms of atmosphere and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Chill, 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 chill. Atmosphere, character design, and music. Ooh, music. That sucks. That's a, that's a way to get fans right in their feels. Change the music on a beloved game? Still amazing overall, incredible graphics. It doesn't have the same magic as the original does. Okay. Come on. Who's got blue beside their name here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay. I almost lost it right at the last second. Oh, God! You're making me panic! Stop it! Oh, fuck. Die. Just die. Just die. Not like this! There it is. Woo! 
There we go. Give me this weapon. Give me this fang. Pavel's ring. Okay. So lore, but I don't get the big fang. Boosts maximum equipment load. Now that's interesting. The ring was named after Havel the Rock. Lord Gwyn's old battlefield compatriot. So Havel is put in here by Lord Gwyn. That would be the old friend. Havel's men wore the ring to express faith in their leader and also to carry a heavier load. You're telling me after I spent 10 minutes do you smell what the rock was cooking? Pushing my myself up against Havel's backside in order to gooch smooch him. The reward that I get is that I can carry a heavier load. I just got my I just I just put my finger right in the middle of my glasses. Interesting. I will say that is a uh, that's a ring I would say I am likely to use because I I it would probably enable enable some fashion souls in a way that I'm excited for. You know? It would let me wear pieces of clothing that I otherwise might not be able to wear. Fuck it, we'll get rid of a uh, wolf ring. But first, we'll do some science. First, we'll do some science. Our equipment load is up to 60 right now. So if we wear... We can go 28.1. And still get the roll. How about... Can we go up to... Oh shit, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, 28.3, yes. Okay, so that puts us over. So then what about... Wait, 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 okay. I'm misunderstanding the, uh, the reading here. Give me the elite knight armor. We're up to 31.6. Nope, still doing it. Damn it. I was really hoping I could use this piece of armor. And I might be able to if I switch out legs. But... And no gloves. Hey, I can roll! Okay. Well, I'm not allowed to wear any gauntlets, meaning my tiny little... My tiny little, uh... Hands are, are pretty bad, but. Okay, is that better or is that worse? I don't know. Sweet, we have 14,000 uh, souls. 14,000 souls and a new doorway. Let's get some more exploring done. We still have one night to beat, right? Watchtower basement key. Wait a second, is this the fucking Hydra? Oh my God, those are the exact same thing. I was right! I never put the ring on. Oops. Thank you for the heads up. I would just say in general, we don't even, don't even. <laughs> in general, I know it's hard to not backseat, but I, did, I never even put the ring on. So I didn't even actually get to try this, but. Uh, okay. Okay. So I can wear at least part of this Elite Knight set. Uh, let's go. Elite Knight Helm, Elite Knight Armor, Elite Knight Gauntlets. Can I wear the good leggings too? I can! Hell yeah. Okay. So the Hydra is right over there. I think. That direction. Dope. 
Look at that. All right, we need to go use our souls uh, before we uh, figure out what to do next. Let's go to the other night too. Bye, Bella Labal. Just a uh, gentle reminder. I haven't even read uh, the messages. Ooh. So I'm sure things are fine. I'm sure. I'm sure you guys are being conscientious of this, but I'm gonna say it just in case. Um, just be careful with too much Dark Souls two, three, Elden Ring uh, chats. Just because I really still hope to go in like blunt. You know, like without a lot of information. Here's the, here's what I currently know about the uh, Elden Ring. I've made it two years in Elden Ring. I've made it two years in a world where Elden Ring is dominating the gaming space, and here's what I know. I know that one of the boss's names starts with M. So it's, a, uh, it's a female sounding name that starts with M. I think I might be able to guess it. And I only know that because I know that Dan Giesling spent 3,000 attempts trying to defeat her uh and that as a as a dan as a major dan giesling fanboy and that took like months of dan giesling stream uh i am really proud of the fact that that's still the only thing i figured out okay so the wizard tower oh shit are you coming up the ladder oi wizard tower is checked off hydra is not Um, we still need to go to the night over on this area. Let's go do that now. It's like past the poison rats. 3,000 attempts. In his defense, I believe my understanding of why it took 3,000 attempts is that it was a, uh, a, a no health run. Okay, like he played, uh, I think he played Elden Ring without health, without taking health levels. Um, like HP, um, I believe I may be wrong about that. And I, but again, I tried not to even just pay attention to it. Cause I don't even want to, I, I, I'm so, so hard trying to avoid any Elden Ring information, but I can't wait to play that game. Cannot wait to play that game. No poison. I don't even have the thing on me. Shit. So, on his first playthrough, I don't know if it was his first subscriber. playthrough. Welcome to the cult. I think it was his second playthrough. Oh, Flying Dutchman, a new subscriber? Holy cow. Thank you for the Prime sub, Flying Dutchman. Thanks very much. That means a lot. Can we get some hearts in chat? All right, there should be a knight up here. We're going to knight with a capital K. I think they're defending an item that we never got. Where are you? Hello. Ouch. I know how to backstab now, motherfucker. You're in trouble now. I know how to backstab. Come over here. Ow. Come over here. Nope, it didn't work. Nope. Ow. My stamina! No! You're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. No, you landed on my head. I'm dead. Thanks, Flying Dutchman. How you doing today? Can I get past you? I don't really want to lure you down here. I feel like that's how I die. Can I just squeeze past you? All right, we'll go down, we'll go down, we'll go down, we'll go down. Uh, 
Fuck. Your sword is so big. What's your health bar at? Hello, half. Now we run up the stairs. How fast are you at running up the stairs? Am I faster? I need to remember that I think it's actually faster to uh, to heal twice rather than to heal once. I need to dodge on that one, I think, instead of blocking. There it is. He's one shot. He's one shot. He's one shot. He's one shot. There it is. Woo! Hi, Kim. Mintz. How's it been going today? Uh, it's been great. We've been just mostly killing uh, those these guys. Uh, that I never had the strength to do earlier. Um, oh my god, you can just walk off this ledge, huh? Okay. Yikes. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Uh, yeah, it's been good. We've killed four of those, which I think is all of them that exist in the game for me right now. Um... We unlocked the, the thing that we got a key for last time. Any boss attempts? No, but I do need to find one because I said I would beat a boss today, so. Um. I can must be right right through this thing. Um, so yeah, we gotta we gotta find one. So where to go from here? Wait, there's a little ledge up here. Back here. Nothing? The dragon's mad at me. Ryan, read that shit? I, uh, good point. I should read it, but I think I've read it before, right? I think I just got a Titanite chunk. Uh, used for weapon reinforcement. Standard weapons plus 14. I think I just got that one, which I have one already. I have a Titanite slab. I may be wrong. Maybe Titanite, like, stone or something was the first thing that I got, but... Wait, from up here, can I attack the dragon? Hmm. Maybe I can, like, use my bow. No, but I did just about walk off the edge again. Dragon would be over there. Nope. Okay. All right. Oh, sounds fun, Ogity. No, you're good, Deku. You're good. Thanks for the thanks for the reminder. I appreciate the read that reminder. All right, we got to figure out what to do next. Um. I honestly don't know of any places that I think would be highly likely that there's a boss. Not that we need to go for bosses, but, you know, it's kind of an idea I had. It'd be a fun thing to do. Um, so, I... We have the depths, which I think is the thing by Vihihi. We have the, uh, trying to get past the dragon in some way. We have the Hydra. We have passed the skeletons into that part. I need to remember how to get back to Vihihi. I think it's technically this way. Yeah, unfortunately we already have a Dark Souls 2 name idea. Lord Marquad or Mark Unread. <laughs> With credit to Meg. We could do Gooch Gooch Sloot for Elden Ring or something. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, I'm down to one Estus flask? Hold up. Hold up. I need to heal. I need to rest at the thing. Hi! And I need to get some levels. Because I keep forgetting. Because I have 15,000 uh, gold. Riley says, Ryan, watching you just wander around with 16k souls is so stressful. So I know I just said it. But if I hadn't said it, that would be uh, the type of thing, Riley, just to be just to be really hard ass for just a second. Uh, that would be the type of thing that we ask people not to type in chat mostly because that like sort of tells me what to do without telling me what to do, right? That's like, hey, Ryan, go do this thing or go do that thing. It's totally cool. It's totally chill. I just want to clarify in case anyone was wondering. I know that makes me seem like a hard ass and probably it's not a particularly fun thing to hear, but let's take uh, one vitality, one endurance. And then we'll take Dex and stuff later. You're totally good. Don't need to apologize. Uh, okay. Let's go down to the door by Vihihi and see if we can get to a new area. Gee. Chat, what are you guys... Uh, I'm not going to be able to see you a ton this week. What are you guys... Uh, any special plans this week for anybody? I'll see you today and tomorrow. Uh, and that's it. Um, shit. Anyone have any, uh, anything crazy going on this week? Community game Saturday? That's right. I was gonna, uh, I was gonna hype that up. I forgot. Community game this Saturday in the Discord if you want to participate. What's the name of the game again, Evo? Anne's going to Prague for a few days. Have you been before? Oh, there you are, dearie. I have moss. Now dish up some souls. King of the Castle. What's the what's the TLDR on King of the Castle? I don't uh, actually know much about it. I'm going to buy some poison throwing knives so that we can throw them. V hee hee. Uh, here we need to put something like maybe poison. Okay, so it's this door right. Uh, down. King of the castle, king of the castle. La 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 la. You will never get this. In here, right? Have we been in here? We opened the door. But I don't know that we ever came in here. That's a rhetorical question. Uh, hmm. Hello. Some hollows. Or undead or whatever. The depths. That's right. Okay. So I think we came at least this far. We saw depths and we turned around. Or at least. Yeah. We have, There's items. So no, we haven't. Okay. The depths. Uh, the depths. Uh, Deku says, so how the fuck do uh, bits work? Uh, here's what bits are. A super quick explanation. Um, I saw that you asked. Uh, bits are a way to make a special alert show up on screen. They normally TTS, aka text-to-speech, except we have the settings uh, so that curse words won't be read. Some curse words. Uh, you have to purchase bits through Twitch, but then I get the exact amount uh, in terms of like, it's like five bits is five cents. I get paid out five cents if you cheer five bits. Um, yeah. They are a, uh, a privilege, not a right, in terms of, uh, oh my God, who is that? There's a big... In terms of Twitch chat, so use them wisely. If you abuse them, I will take away your ability to cheer stuff. Ah, I was trying to use my binoculars. Just just to be clear, they're a privilege, not a right. Balls. Thank you for the balls. 
Cheer. Oh no. I'm seeing people in chat who have definitely not. No, no. Exclamation watch time. Every one of you. Exclamation. We have one rule. Oh, I'm, a, I'm deleting a bunch of them preemptively. I'm deleting a bunch of them preemptively because here's the deal. Exclamation rule 20. It's about to be hell in here. Jerry Bean certainly doesn't have enough time. Lynn, I'm going to need a, a watch time from you. Katilla, I think, could say it. Ice, I don't think you can say it. Uh, if you have 20 hours, you could say balls in this chat. If you don't have 20 hours, get out of here. Hellchar cannot say balls. Dunny, can you say it? Exclamation rule. We only have the one rule in chat. We have so many rules, but this is the big one. You can't say balls unless you watch 20 hours. I don't want to hear about your balls unless you have watched 20 hours. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, moderators. I can't say balls. Just for that. Lynn has enough watch time. There we go. Ice definitely does not. James Cooper 08. Do you have him? James Cooper? 10 hours? Listen. I'm not even I'm not even showing mercy. I'm not even deleting messages. I'm timing you out for like 60 seconds if you if you do it. No mercy. Absolutely no mercy. Normally, I would just I would just delete the message. What about spheres? You can't say anything that is a reference to balls if you J, JB Regatta, do you have it? Do you have 20 hours? We need to find a new topic because the mods are gonna have to work overtime if not. You don't? Okay, so you know you can't say spheres. See ya. Goodbye. I'll see you in 81 seconds. Uh, how about nuts? As if you are referring to either the body part or spherical objects and you are attempting to get around the rules, I will just, you will just delete your message. Listen, we, we make very few requests around here. We make a ton of requests. This is what I was trying to look at with the, uh, with the binoculars. What is, what do you have on your head? Where are you going? Why are you running? Why do you have the cleaver? Oh, that's a funny noise. We have one rule around here, he says, right after saying, like, so we have a lot of rules. Don't do any tips, tricks, spoilers. <laughs> Hi, friend. You have a club-looking item. Oh, my God. I fell down. Where is this? Where am I now? Run. Where am I? Okay, big cleaver. Big cleaver go boom. Anyways, with king of the castle, a king maze, is trying to accomplish a goal and not be overthrown by three other factions who want to put someone on a throne from their faction, anyone who joins. Interesting, okay. So, social deception type game? But, or no? Is it, oh my God, I keep trying to heal and I keep accidentally opening the binoculars. Do people know that you're king, or are they... You can hit me through that? I call bullshit. Okay. Was anyone else thinking little nightmares with this character, or just me? <gasps> Fashion! 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 Oh, baby, we're untouchable now. Bloodstained patchwork sack by the undead man-eating cook lurking in the depths. Two eye holes have been haphazardly, speaking of incredible words, haphazardly cut out. It is unexpectedly soft and comfortable to wear. It's probably near meaningless in terms of defense. You say near meaningless, but I know for a fact that it has six as a physical defense item. Stat. Six. We'll wear it for a second. I mean, we have to, right? It's weird. He still has the sack on his head. They still have the sack on their head. Are there are balls in that sack. Exclamation watch time. Okay, so there's a door down. 
What's wriggling down there? Are those snakes? Oh, it's the water. Uh, the stones were like moving. Wizard, wizard has the time. Oh no, there's another one? The fuck? Okay. Trying to give you some distance. Yup. That sounds fun, Evo. Uh, people should uh, people should check out. Sorry, my brain's all over the place right now. My brain's thinking ball censorship. Um, now don't go talking about sacks as a way to get around talking about balls. Oh lord, it's chaos today. Uh, if you want to play the uh, community game, King of the Castle, uh, on Saturday, at what time, Evo? You should pop into the Discord. You should uh, get the community games role so that you can hang out with uh, Evo and other fun community members. And, um, and yeah. I won't be there, but you should. Okay, what are these? Are they going to be items in all these chests? Or are they, is this just a fun room for... You must help me. Oh, over here, over here. Yes, please. You must help me. Can we chat? Oh, there you are. You're in a barrel. You must help me, buddy. You're in a barrel. Or else, she'll have me for lunch. You're my only hope. Oh, please. Is this a, is this a Hobbit subplot? Can, did, are, are these barrels full of dwarves we're going to send out of the... Bilbo's sneaking you all out of the castle? Out of the... I don't know the castle is the right word. It's chaos in chat today. Chaos in chat today. First off, we're going to break every other barrel. Spoilers for The Hobbit. Major spoilers for The Hobbit. You're right. If you haven't read it. What if we break every barrel but this person? Oh, there you are. You must help me. Or else she'll have me for lunch. She'll have me for Can lunch. Oh, please. He's watching you destroy every barrel except the one he's in. Zach, you knew from the start. That was my exact plan. Break every single barrel other than this one and see what happens. All right, we'll let you out. It's never been... Is your hand on fire? It's never hurt me in the past. Thank you. I would have been a supper without you. Been eaten alive. I should have been. Thank you. Thank you dearly. I am Laurentius. Laurentius. With the great spot. I will not. Laurentius of the Great Womp. Lore time. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Throw your hands on fire. Oh, hello there. I'm fine, thanks to you. Okay. Are you going to go back to the Firelink Shrine and we'll talk later? Oh, okay, maybe. Let's see. Keep exploring. I love a new NPC that can backstab me later. Uh, We can go down there. Here's the problem. How do I get back up? Because I came from up there, but then I dropped down on accident. I think there might still be loot and stuff up there. Oh, no. Okay. He's fine, thanks to you. He's fine, thanks to you. Oh, hello. I don't like this water. This is the exact wrong amount of water for me to feel scared about. Are there, what if there are leeches in it or snakes or this is the amount of, of water I am very sketched out about. What the fuck is that? Up there. You see that? Very top of the screen. There's these two guys, but there's this thing up there. Rhetorical question. So this water is super clean. Yeah, it was until I started bleeding these 
monsters out into it. Will you come here and fight me over here so that I don't have to fight the other thing? I'm guessing I can't dash in this water, right? Probably. Okay, there's a stairwell. Oh, you're just another dog. Okay. You looked different for some reason. You looked scary. There's a box here. A chest, I should say. Ouch. Got me with a little bit of poison. It's fine. That's not my heal. <laughs> Every time. Every time. What's on the, uh, what's on the pot? We making chili? Oh my God. Yes. Okay. Break all the stuff because uh, I don't need, I don't make the rules. You have to. First off, hell yeah. Where does that go? Does it go straight down? Yikes. Large ember. A large ember. Uh, let's see here. It is a key. Ember for blacksmith weapon ascension. Large high quality ember handled by the back. Uh, uh, we have a divine ember already. So this is, uh, gonna send a plus five standard weapon to raw weapon. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna act like I absolutely understand that just yet. Should we go in this hole? We will go in that hole in just a second, but first I'm gonna go up. So that we can explore this level a little bit more. Broken straight sword. The architecture is a little interesting here. We have like arches, these like big, like almost cafeteria, like tavern like thing. Okay, so that takes us full circle. Don't think I can get up there. All right, let's jump in this random hole. Let's do it. I think this is probably a trap, but I'm gonna do it. Nope, it's fine. Where did this take me? <gasps> oh God, it's big. Holy shit. Woo. The big rat. Tony says I'm making chili for dinner tonight. We just had a bunch last week. D chili is one of my favorite. What are those? Spring, fall, winter. KB Regatta says, can I get a quick rundown of what I missed in the last two hours? We went around and we killed all of the different uh, big knights. Like, I don't know, maybe black knights is what they're called. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, right there. What are you? Why are the walls? Why am I tripping acid? Uh, we unlocked the watch tower basement thingy. Uh, killed Havel the Rock, a.k.a. Stone Lord. Um, we do have Havel's ring now. I saw you were asking about that earlier. Um, this is why you buy your LSD from reputable sources. That's all I got to say. All of a sudden, the walls are crawling. I don't like it. Can I just shoot you with my bow? Absolutely, I will use all of my arrows to make this happen. This is a good use of my time here. Can I shoot you in the eyeball? Nope. Uh, what else am I missing? We, uh... I think that's about it, honestly. And then I and then I came to the depths and decided I wanted to start looking at it. No honor? Listen, I'm not gonna finish the fight that way. That's just how I'm gonna do it. Start it. Of course.
There's another rat right there. Oh, there's some loot right there. Then I'm going to jump off and do the... I whipped. No! no! Please don't kill me. I, I wanted to do it with style. There we go. Humanity. Somehow the rat had humanity. Explain that one to me. What are you? Oh, it broke. That's worse. Ew! Sewer chamber key. Okay. I think you might need some antibiotics. I think I need some... Uh... That's a human body. Like a humanoid body. Soul of a nameless soldier. This is my... Uh... Yeah, I think I need like a tetanus shot. I need all the shots they can give me, basically. Okay, that goes down. What's on the floor there? Is that a trap? Well, there's a fucking rat. Okay, we gotta figure out where we're going first. We gotta get organized. Ryan, read that shit. Didn't I just get humanity and... Oh my god, we never did this. The soul of a moonlight butterfly. Um... And then one of these. Uh... No, I got a key. You're right. Duh. Key to the sewer chamber in the depths. In any community, a few bad apples are sure to exhibit insatiable greed. If they were turned undead and banished to the depths, would they reconsider their ways? Use this key to see for yourself. So a person with insatiable or, or peoples with insatiable greed were put in this place. That right there looks like a cell. The ladder up there. We can go off that ledge if we want. I have the menu open. Can I kill the rat, please? Okay. Here's the question on my mind. I'll be honest with you guys. Here's the question on my mind. Bye, you all. Thanks for being here today. That's a that's a hole. That's a fucking hole. Look at that shit. Ooh, so maybe I have to jump over that. Um If I know my Miyazaki from Soft Games. Uh somewhere in this game, this is a rhetorical question, please don't tell me what you think. Somewhere in this game will be a swamp made of poison. Is it a swamp sewer? This is a really cool area. Holy cow. Look at the oh my god. No! They have sorcerer rats inside of there. There's a magic rat. It's not a magic rat, it's a human. I see him. Rat Wizard King. Um. This is a really cool design so far. The way this like doubles on itself, uh, or like, or like many, 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 like the, the labyrinth here. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Done. What are you? Whoa, what are you? What are you? Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Stop it. What are you? The, the, the shit? in the sewers has come to life and is chasing me. It's you on a Monday? Oh, there's the wizard guy right there.
That's the Rat Wizard King. Oh! Okay, so that does line up. There should be a left turn up here. And the, oh god. Yep. Did I try killing you since you're so close? Uh, honestly, I think this will work. I killed him already. Oh my god. This is working. Anybody got any loot? The entryway is blocked with bodies. Come fight me. One at a time, please. One at a time, please. One at a time, please. Hello, hello, hello. There you go. Okay. All my rats are dead. Push me to the edge. Woo! Let's go. Uh, Lord Datsida, I didn't see the original comment. Uh... So I don't actually know the full circle of what you're talking about, but uh, no reaction at all for rhetorical stuff. Uh, if I ask a rhetorical question or if I am just generally talking about stuff, yeah, we ask like a lot of times reactions give away information. How do I phrase this? If I ask a rhetorical question, even if I'm pretty sure it will happen and chat's like, wait till you see and they get really excited or like, Nah, of course not. R or eye rolling like that—that that kind of stuff still tells me what to expect, and sort of gives away the game before we get to it. If that makes sense. So yeah, just to be really safe, we ask for like no reactions to rhetorical stuff. Isn't that water deafening, Carly? The other thing, in case I haven't said it yet today, is if you're like, yeah, it seems insane that I can't talk about this stuff. Uh, we have a good place you can. You can you can go into a. We have a whole channel in the Discord where I'm sure people are talking about Poison Swamp stuff. <laughs> or depth stuff or whatever. Um, no! I fell in the hole! Shit! No! Ah! What are you? Ah! There's more! Fuck! Right behind my camera, you guys can't see it. I don't like them. I don't like them. They're not dangerous at all. Not a single one has hit me, but they are so. I the eyeballs. No. I love how Ryan stays cool and collected. He never panics. Oh Christ! But they. Oh. Listen, they deserve panic. They're scary looking. Look at those eyeballs. That looks like the kind of thing. That's a nightmare. Then my name for that item, my, for that monster is a nightmare. It literally has a, an eye called the eye of death. If that ain't lure phantoms from other worlds, it's an online play item. Only Covenanter can use the item while Hollows cannot. Dreadful eyes of death spread disaster across neighboring worlds. Phantoms lured to the host world may end up as victims, allow allowing the eyes of death to multiply, leading to further proliferation of bane. I know we've said a lot of good stuff about really long words today. Like proliferation is a good one. Isn't bane a great name? Boon and bane are a power couple of words, I have to say. Hi, Strawberry Sensation. How you doing today? Bane has the, me the the menace that Boone does not, you know? Anyways, now we're down here. <laughs> I wasn't planning on being down here, but now we're down here, and there's another one of these fuckers. Did I let one attack me to see what it does? Oh, they just scurry. 
That one ran away from me. That's cute. Maybe they're buddies. No, yeah, maybe they're buddies. Not a buddy. Not a buddy. Not a buddy. Noxious poison gas? Not a buddy. Oh, shit. I don't look like they're... They're so oozy. I, I honestly get it off me. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Can I pet that dog? Can I? Can I pet that dog? <laughs> no. Okay. They're around every corner. They're just staring at me. I can't actually tell. Oh, that is poison. I think that's poison. Uh, that might actually be a different. No, oh, I was trying to time that to see if. I don't think that's poison, actually. That might be a different. Uh... Icon. It might be toxin. Maybe it's toxin. Hi, uh, Wads. Thank you for the follow. Okay. If we can jump down on them from above. Holy shit. This place is so labyrinthine. I'm stoked to be here right now. Minus the fact that I hate the way they look. Oh, God. Minus the fact that I hate these guys. Um, the, uh, the fact that we have a whole new place down here to explore. I love how labyrinthine it looks. At least they're not strong. I, I, I wish I knew what these guys were. They're like Grimer. There's a bunch of mucks and grimers down here. I missed your reaction to these cuties. Uh, Marsh, did you watch me play uh, Resident Evil 7? Remember how I scream? Okay, so it turns out you have seen my reaction to these things. Just just uh, cut and paste. Soul of a nameless soldier. There's so many of these, like, closed doorways. He just screamed like he saw Grandma. Look at the way the wall is glowing here. You see that, like, red down there at the bottom? Carby Sensation says I got a tattoo today. I got a tattoo of a strawberry. Whoa! Tattoo with a uh, strawberry. Oh, sorry. A strawberry with cream on top in the shape of a skull. That's dope. Hello, friend. Hi. Are you hiding? What are you doing? It's not being so weird. The water is so loud. Ah! Honestly, cleanse me. It's time for our first shower. Wear the elite knight armor without a uh, freaking out. By the way, ah, okay. Without um, the rats scare me because I think they give me poison, and poison can kill me. Honest to God, that's what poison looks like. It's the purple drop. I think bleeding is the one that looks like a. Uh, it looks almost like a, a a stab wound. Is maybe how I would describe it. 
humanity. Also stuff over here. The rats look healthier than Mark, TBH. When you put it that way, I think you might be right. That's some real perspective for you. Oh my god. The ragdoll made me think it was trying to attack me. Okay, we can go down there. We can go... Hi! Over here. Ring of the Evil Eye. We got a new piece of loot. Absorbs HP from fallen enemies. Oh my god. Wake up, babe. Best item in the game just dropped? According to legend, this ring contains the spirit of the evil eye, a dark beast which assaulted Astora. Strength of the evil eye does not waver. HP is absorbed from fallen enemies. I'm in the menu. Oh my god. Luckily, they were not paying attention to me. Okay, so this goes around. Go up here. I feel I'm, I'm equipping that item immediately, and I feel like that's got to be a powerful item. We'll see. Oh, my God. I love how labyrinthine this is. Uh, we'll see. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. We need to go back. We need to make the jump that I just failed. Read that will be my favorite thing. Yes. Feel free to spam read that after I get a new item. Oh, I should have waited to see if I could... Oh, shit. Grab some heals from a... An enemy. Humanity. Look at that jump. Oh, I fell. Another eye of death. They were in the menu as well. Oh, the enemy? The enemy was in the uh, was in the menu, which is why they didn't kill me. Uh, okay. So we go this way. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. Through the free shower. Past the pile of dead rats. Past the pile of concerning looking ooze. This looks like a Goosebumps book. There's gotta be something with the ooze. What's the deal with all the ooze? You know? Do some of them have items inside of them or, or enemies or what? It's rhetorical. They're all, all, all these are rhetorical questions, just for a matter. We've gotta have something. Oh, that's a tiny rat. I'm gonna break every single one of them, though. Tiny little rat. Run, little rat. Did any of you ever read those uh, those Goosebumps books? Like, uh, what was the one with the uh, the peanut butter, like the purple peanut butter? Anybody ever read Goosebumps books? Is what I should ask. Yes. Ooze is a good sounding word. It tickles my brain. Strawberry, that's what we've been talking about all day. Strawberry sensation uh, is words that tickle your brain like that. How many goose, Goosebumps books can I name? The one with the purple peanut butter. <laughs> is that it? What is this thing? Will it attack me? Are you a friend? You look like you have Shrek ears. You know? Don't those look like ogre ears on the top a little bit? Lurker, was that chocolate cake? Oh, okay. You're spiky on the inside.
I think the uh, chocolate cake was made using the purple peanut butter. Or whatever. Some version of that. I don't like you. Okay, so I'm lost a little bit. I think I came from there. Oh, good. More oozes. Oh, God. It dropped from the fucking ceiling. Do a double stab. I gotta say, you guys are a pretty underwhelming enemy so far. I thought maybe they would explode on, on, uh, sort of like impact. Wait, wait, wait. Did I come from that way or this way? Wait a second. I came from this way. These enemies look pretty viscous. Oh my god. First off, be aware of traps because in this game, if you see something that you're running for, all of a sudden... Oh wait, this I know where we are. This is, we were on the other side of this class. This is this thing that goes up. Break all that shit. No idea where that goes. No idea where that goes. Oh my god, we're exploring. I feel like that, oh, too many rats. I feel like the gargoyles could have said that about you. Could have said what? Oh, that I'm not a very impressive enemy. <laughs> Rats, why do you run away? You've heard of Rat Bane, Mark Von Hjarlein? A great axe. Who slew your kin before you and your, will slay your children after you? I would be scared too. Great axe. Read that shit, read that shit. Oh my. It does more damage than the demon's great axe at this point. Requires 32 strength. The great axe is a veritable mass of iron. Its weight sends, uh, sends foes flying, but makes it difficult to handle without inhuman strength. Any miss makes one very vulnerable, as each swing requires the full force of the body. I always forget, I can technically wield it to see what it looks like, too. Nope. Hey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How, what's a what's a two-handed version of this look like? Oh yeah. The way the camera jerks. Uh oh. Uh, let's see here. Put our weapon back on. Uchikitana is at the top, but I went down instead. Uchikitana is somewhere in here. Plus three for now. We need to upgrade it some more. I'm going to keep using it, which so far I think I will. Ah! Okay, there's a rat. Look the rat scared the shit out of me. Come here, rat. Don't hide in the corner. It makes me feel bad. I have to hit you while you're running away? It makes me feel very bad. Hi, Melon Man, and welcome in. How you doing today? soul of a nameless soldier. We're about to be fucking rich, by the way. 
It might be time. A white wall lead into a boss. It might be time. Let's do some more exploring before we go there. The pog, white fog. Uh, that one goes nowhere. There's a thing here. And then the other thing we didn't do is go this way. And I hope... No! Sorry, jump scare. My bad. I hope that this leads to a door we can open. Sewer chamber key. Into bonfire! Yeah! Actual no better feeling in this game. Defeating bosses? Pretty pog. Figuring out mechanics? Pretty good. Getting a bonfire? What the fuck? Why? Oh, God. There's another one. And that one looks big. Getting a bonfire is the best thing. I think this might be the bonfire that's right on the other side of that gate by the uh, the knight that we defeated today as well. Oh, shit. There's too many. Let me roll. Are there more on the ceiling? Okay, all right. I'm just gonna keep stabbing you. Stabbing has to be so ineffective versus ooze. Gotta be. Hi, Notorious BBO, how you doing? I haven't actually said hi today. All right, what's this? Large Titanite Shard? Oh, I took some damage. Let's see if uh, I can actually get some uh, health back now. You know? I think it's once they're dead I get health. I know nothing about these games, but I find them aesthetically pleasing. You know nothing about these games? Oh. I feel like it should be a universal gaming experience. Help. To, uh, to at least try and discover whether or not you enjoy a uh, Souls game. You know? What's like a... What's like a universal gaming experience that everyone should have? Not trying to be prescriptivist about it, but like probably defeating the Ender Dragon in Minecraft is like a thing each person should like, you know. Playing Outer Wilds, absolutely. Playing it with no information, even better. The Mass Effect trilogy. Interesting. I think Portal. Like your first brain bit breaking Portal puzzle is a great example. I don't think I can open that. Those are windows. Okay. Let's go get this bonfire. We can even kindle it if we want. Skyrim? Falling down a mountain in Skyrim? Running up a mountain in Skyrim? Please don't be a trick. It's so quiet. This is really good. This is the good stuff right here. Just chilling. Quiet. Silence after the water. Err mom. Err mom, by the way. <laughs> it's such a relief to leave the water. It's so loud. I probably should turn it down, honestly. During the water part. It's, this is one of those games that has music, sounds, and voice are the only are the only three sliders, which isn't bad, but okay. This feels like one we should kindle, maybe. We'll just rest here for now. We'll level up. We'll go from there. I think we're uh, about to do a boss fight, chat. If you guys uh. If you guys want in. Um, 
You guys want to run a prediction on unnamed on unnamed potential boss fight? I don't know for a fact that it is a boss fight. If it's not, we will... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kindle this shit. I have to reverse hollowing first. Let's do it. Thank you, Carly. I don't even know if it's a boss. If it's not, we'll refund the points. I really have no idea whether or not you should believe. I would say probably don't because I've never fought it before. But you never know. You never know. Uh, Actic says, yo, what's up? I just finished your Subnautica playthrough. I don't know about what about that game, uh, but it will always have a special spot in my heart. I feel you, Actic. That game is incredible. That should be added to the list. The question was, what are uh, universal, like um, what, are, what are a gaming experience that should be almost universal? Like every gamer should have a moment uh, doing it. And I struggle with the should there. Because I saw Squirrel Monkey's comment, which was like, I can't think of anything that every single gamer should do. It's so definitive that every gamer should experience it. Because I know that there's a million different ways to, like, gaming is one of those weird genres where, like, any, uh, it's so broad. Like, the mobile game on your phone is one type of gaming. The, you know, buying a console, playing on PC is a very different and specific type of gaming. You son of a bitch, you hit me. All these oozes are going to be back. This is cursed. We just run. We just run. That's the wrong way. Wait, shit. Where did I come from? Wait, this way? Shit. Wait, I'm lost. I think Outer Wilds is a should, not a should finish, but a should try. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh, why do I have such reticence? This is the wrong way. <laughs> no, God! Oh, fuck! Jesus, shit! Stab it. Stab it. Christ. Okay. Um, happy April Fool's Day. Here's here's where I struggle with the word should. And I wanna listen. I'm as big a fan of Outer Wilds as as there exists. That's not true. Some people are even bigger fans, which is crazy. I'm a big a fan of Outer Wilds as, as exists. I would, re I do, and sh and and would recommend it to anyone, especially playing it without any information or with as little information as you can muster. I go up here and then I go left. Why did I run past all these fuckers? All right, whatever. Um, but here's the thing I struggle with, in terms of should, is that like as a person who spent a lot of time in the reading world as well, I really struggle telling anyone they should read a book, like a very specific book. Because at the end of the day, people get so many different things out of reading and they are such different type of readers that I think like being a little prescriptive about this kind of stuff can actually turn people off more than it can like, like the sort of blanket someone should play this game or should read this book if you're the kind of person who for some reason doesn't vibe with it i think there can be like a weird little turn off there right where it's like everyone should play it but i'm a person who didn't enjoy it what does that say about me or like my or 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 the game itself that like some people feel so strongly that i should play it but I, it didn't connect with me, you know? Oh, I need to I need to rest here. I'm going to rest here because I want to heal my weapon. And I know that isn't exactly how it's working, but, like, that's kind of where my brain goes. Um, 
repair the Uchi Katana. I think there, the other thing with a should is that it, it, it... I worry, and I don't know that it does, but I worry that it puts people in the wrong mindset who might, like, you know... Uh, it, it, it drags someone into a game with the mindset that they otherwise wouldn't have, which is... I don't know that that's the case. You fucker. I'm just going to go rest. But I worry. Because I think there's nothing better than organically finding a game that speaks to you specifically in a way that no other piece of art can. That's me with Outer Wilds. But I don't know that you get that always or necessarily if the way you got there was everyone should play this game. I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? I'm about two hours into Outer Wilds. I haven't picked it back up in three weeks. I haven't felt compelled. It makes me feel awful since it's such a well-respected game. There's nothing wrong with that, though. There's nothing wrong with that. I swear I came from this way, right? Yes? Oh, Lord. I'm lost. I'm lost in the sauce, chat. I also feel, to be fair, like the thing I've just said I'm worried about is like a pretty silly worry overall. I'm poisoned, almost. Die. Not over here. Ah, you're alive! Okay, I really like this, uh, this ring so far. I don't think it's particularly important for boss fights, but I like it. Okay, I came up here. Left took me to the bonfire, yeah? Oh my god. My man is T-posing. Ooh, Riley, I didn't know that. Physical release for, uh, no, this is where the things are. Jesus Christ. Physical release of uh, Outer Wilds for PS5. Okay, so that way is rats. This way. There was a rat there. We need to figure out this boss run. Down here? It might be down there. Like to the left through this thing. Not sure though. So I think the way this ring works, I haven't actually said it out loud yet. I think the way this ring works, based on what I'm noticing, is that I get a little bit of health once an enemy is finished. So I don't think that will actually help in a boss fight because I'm fucking lost. Holy shit. Uh, because you only finish the boss fight at the end. Most boss fights anyways. Okay, I found it. Holy God. Social media and online discourse generate a lot of FOMO, and doing something only because of FOMO never feels great. I think it's a full spec. One, one last thought before we try this. I think it's a full spectrum, too. I think at its worst, FOMO and sort and sort of like like almost weaponized FOMO or fear of missing out and sort of prescriptivist like you're not a real reader unless you read the classics or every game and this is these are these are different but I think there is enough of a thread connecting them that it can be sketchy sometimes you're not a real reader unless you read the classics every gamer should experience X I think they have a, a, a small spectrum uh, of those possibilities where it's like, where it's a little, it's less inclusive and more, um, it's more about creating outsiders than it is about making connections with people. And 
I'm hypersensitive to that because the reading world has that in spades, and the gaming world doesn't really seem to have that, which I love. The gaming world has a lot less of it. The reading world, especially the literature with a capital L, I have a master's degree in creative writing, take a shot. That world has it badly. A lot of gatekeeping. A lot of, a lot of that. Anyways, let's kill a boss. It's not a boss. Let's go. We need we need to find a boss though, so that's actually a problem. Okay, so that's actually a problem for us. Oh my god, we're gonna have to explore the labyrinth again tomorrow too. This is too many. The labyrinthine depths. It's too many turns. I can't find where I'm going. Okay, I'm just dragging this rat behind me. All right, so we need to uh, refund that prediction uh, when we get a chance, uh, Carly or Moz. Yeah! You both had rats? That's bullshit. No, I'm poisoned. There were rats inside of that. Uh-oh, I missed a comment. One second. Have you seen the new Dune movies? I love the Dune movies. I love the Dune movies. Yeah, really good. Oh, a little secret back here. Large Titanite Shard. I almost said large Titanite Shard. Exclamation bonk. Thank you, Carly. We also need... Uh, we need to do some weapon upgrading at some point. Small rat. Stab you in the gooch. Someday this is all going to connect for me. It's all going to make sense. It's all going to go in one direction. Okay. Okay. So this is... This is so cool. Holy shit. I might turn down this app for this part. This area is dope. Can I ask a front seat question? B in chat for beloved, D in chat for despised. Is this area by the Dark Souls community B or D? That's a front seat question. Beloved or despised? D? Damn it. I was like, I think there's a possibility. I, I, I'm sure there's a possibility because it is labyrinthine as hell. That's a dead rat. Okay, so we've already killed that rat. That's good to know. I love it. There you go. That was so many Ds. There are only a couple Bs. If you're a B, I stand with you. I'm loving it so far. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so this is the top. So my brain it came from here. from this room because that leads to the bonfire. Cool. So then we go this way. We go exploring this way. That way goes to that room. This room goes here. Maybe. Here's how to tell if you've been away. Is the rat still alive? Yes. Okay. I haven't been that way yet. Rat's dead? Okay, I've been that way. Been that way? I have not been this way. Okay. Holy, listen, I pride myself on my sense of direction. I am lost with a capital L. There's a ooze here. Okay, I don't need to fight you at all, honestly. Can I run and jump over you? Nope. No. Oh. 
Nope. I'm seeing some aways in chat. Can we get a spammer. Can we get a couple more aways so I can look back at chat? Get out of here. Gone this way. Thank you, thank you. Just to be safe. Okay. That goes outside. I don't think there was anything that else that I'm missing on this little... There's just an item down there. There's an overview here, which could be cool. This could be a boss arena. I'm not sure. Maybe. There's an item in it. To me, that looks like a, a boss arena. Okay, so we need to go where again? Here? We can go down any of these. This takes us up and into the hallway? No, fuck. That's the wrong way. Okay. Oh! Away! Away! Oh no, I'm lost. I think it's partially too, RJ. I think it's partially the, uh, one of the hard parts about literature is that it has literature with a capital L, whatever, you know, uh, it has like, so this is, what? This is the room with the ladder. I've been, this is, oh God, my brain. One of the things with literature with a capital L is that it has very like classist, uh, stuff in it oh i didn't even literally mean to oh no okay i slid down part of the way there's like some class signifying stuff and also class or uh like there are ways in which i think academia has helped and then ways in which academia has probably not helped uh the like gatekeepy parts of it um, whereas I don't see the same, like, striation in, uh, shit, in gaming, necessarily. I think there's always going to be a little bit, my hobby is better than your hobby, regardless of what the hobby is. Another one? Fucking. Bring your shield up, you little shit. Shield. Heal. You're gonna die. Dark? Spirit? Night? What? What? Chat? What? Dark spirit night Kirk has invaded? What does that mean? I don't answer that, but what? What's happening? Am I in online mode? I can't lock the... I'm in the menu! Okay, first off, fuck off. This is my rat. I'm use my range on you. Who are you? You're not a real player. I thought maybe this was like a real player invading me. Ow! You're too bad to be a real player. Haha, <laughs> get fucking wrecked. You're dead? That's not an... So just to confirm, that's not an online thing? Just a fr uh, front seat question, not an online thing? Front seat, yeah. No, it's not? Okay. Kirk is not a real game. Ooh. I thought for sure I was barbed straight sword. I thought for sure I was... Holy cow. Guys, just a heads up before we go any... Before we do anything, can I get like five exclamation aways in the chat before I look at it? I feel like today, for some reason, we're kind of struggling with this. The rules uh, for chat... I don't want to be all bad dad kind of guy, but the rules for chat are... are 
are this. Please don't post any information in chat. Uh, that includes specific backseating and spoilers, like, hey, this is coming in the next room. Hey, this is an explanation of the mechanic. It also includes things like um, jokes around this kind of stuff, because our moderators are trying to keep the chat free of things, and they don't know whether or not something is an actual hint or a joke about a hint or a reference to Dark Souls 2 or whatever. Um, the one exception to where you can uh, post in chat about some information is if I say front seat question and then I put the front seat emote in the chat. My stream deck is broken, so I can't actually put it in the chat very easily. I will say specifically I have this question, answer it with a yes or a no. Or I have this question, uh, answer it in this way specifically. Any extra information is really, really not wanted. Um, we have a really, we're asking our moderators to do a really tough thing. And we're asking you guys to do a really tough thing, uh, which is to control the flow of information in an online live streaming environment, which is insane. However, you guys have been incredible about it in, uh, in this series so far. We've played like 20 hours of the game. I have been spoiled on literally nothing. It's been fantastic. It's been great. Who is the violator? That's not what we're, we're doing here. We're not like trying to shame somebody. We're just trying to set the rules very clearly. Um, we're just, we're just trying to set the, the, the rules very clearly. If you have any questions, you can feel free to ask. Mods and other commenters will, will, uh, will answer your question about what kind of stuff it was or, or what, you, what you can or can't do. Um, there's also a place in the Discord where you can ask literally anything. In the spoilery discussion channel, you can ask anything because I never go in there, and so neither do other people. Also, I just have to point out how ridiculous these things look. So that was insane. Uh, so to get back to the topic of what just happened, I got invaded? Question mark? Which I just assume. I think I've read about that in an in an item, and I just assumed that was an online play thing. Maybe invaded is a word I heard in other games. I'm not sure, uh, but. It does not appear that that is the case. And cracked red eye orb, online play item, which allows you to invade another world. Hollows cannot use the item. Defeat the master of the world you've invaded to acquire humanity. Whereas this person just tried to defeat me, lost humanity, or gave me humanity. This is the interesting part. The cracked red eye orb allows players to temporarily imitate this ability which is normally limited to the dark wraiths of Kaith, of Katha. So I got invaded by, and now is where the front seat question happens. What specifically front seat question was the name that appeared when I got invaded? Invaded by something Kirk, or did it just say invader Kirk? Front seat question, what was the name of the thing that invaded me? Dark spirit. Knight Kirk. Knight Kirk. You're telling me Kirk from Gilmore Girls invaded me? That's Kirk's newest hobby? Kirk's newest job is invading people in, uh, in this game? Awesome. Sweet. Thank you, chat. All right, cool. Interesting. That that made me panic. And then I was in the menu for like five minutes, and that also made me panic. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, so we fell. <laughs> I'm lost again. We fell down, and then pe things were still alive because uh, I have rested at a bonfire recently. We need to w find a way to get ourselves back up? Question mark. The rat. Dope, dope, dope. There's an ooze. The rat over there. Okay. Holy shit. 
I think they gave me an item. I may be wrong. I think they gave me an item to help me find my way. And I may literally need to use this. Um, Ryan, you're a Gilmore Girls fan? I've seen every episode of Gilmore Girls. I'm 99% sure, minus the remix. However, I have never... I didn't watch them in, uh, out in chronological order because they were watched by my sister and a girlfriend that I have and Megan... Or a girlfriend that I had. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, like 10 years ago. And Megan. And so Gilmore Girls has been on my entire life. Uh, and I love it. But I have never watched it uh, episode to episode. I said have, but I meant had, chat. <laughs> Listen, don't be weird. <laughs> don't be weird! Leaf summon sign. I swear there's an item for... No. Nope. Okay. Okay. This area is going to be multiple streams, I can tell. Okay. Um, let's be systematic about this. So, I need to find my way back to the bonfire. I could die to get back to the bonfire. I don't need to kill those fucking things. They take forever. I can also... Oh, I can crawl through this. Oh, this is new. This is not the bonfire. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, my God. Everything's happening. Bye, Wizard of Sand. Hi, shall I? And good day to you. I'm Donald of Xena. I'm just a peddler of sorts. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. You, you talked so fast! Dom Hall of Zima. Teach me your gesture. Joy. Aw. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. What are you wearing? Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Can I have your helmet? You give me gold pine resin. Okay. Applies lightning to your right hand weapon. Give me Oh what? Crystal items? I wonder what his laughter will be like this time. It'll be like re hee hee or something. Tee hee hee. I'm hoping for a tee hee hee. Tee hee hee. Crystal straight sword. Takes 16 strength. 10 thru uh, 10 dex. Um. Straight sword, fully crystallized straight sword. How such a weapon was created is entirely unknown. Crystallization boosts its attack, but makes the blade brittle. Sword cannot be used for long as it cannot be repaired. <gasps> Interesting. Crystal greatsword. Same deal. Crystal shield. That's an interesting item. We have some normal arrows and such. Helm of the Wise. A strange helm from the ancient land of Xena. So it was Xena with an N, not M. Birthplace of the curious dealer Dom Hanal. Okay. I'm glad that you reset his name so I can reread it. The two horns are believed to symbolize wisdom. Armor of the Glory. A strange armor from the ancient land. Many metals are believed to symbolize glory. Wisdom. Glory. Gold bracelets symbolize a vanquisher. Strange boots, inlaid silver rings symbolize an explorer. Are these dope or what? Are these good? Um, 14, 47? I don't know that that is good. Well, that is a shame, but no matter. Pricey as shit, no, too. To worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us someday, sometime. Mbappa nada. Uh, I can almost afford one. Ah, it looks like the armor might be stronger than mine. Um. Hi, Shamai. I adore trinkets. Hi, Shamai. So I trade for them. I don't know what that means. I wonder if that's a like uh, a linguistic, ver like a specific language. Hello. Um. I don't know if the wise. 
Armor of the Glorious. Dang. I want one of these. The armor is the one I want, and it costs 15,000. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't see anything here. Hmm. Well, that is a shame, but no matter. Not to worry. Okay. Uh, hold up real quick. Maybe I'll just find... First off, I have a million souls. Ooh, I should buy stuff, because I have a million souls. Second off, what's in here? Is it locked? It's locked. Okay. So, locked door... By Dom... Paul, we really got to find a boss here. It's 3.30. I haven't even found a boss. Okay, here's the question. Do I have... Because we could get the armor if we are smart here. Do I have enough souls here? Soul of the Moonlight Butterfly. We are still going to maybe use that to create a unique weapon. I'm not sure. Soul of a Proud Knight. Nameless Soldier. I have a lot. Okay. It's fine. It's time to figure this out. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. Soul of the Moonlight Butterfly. I have a front seat question about it because I want to make sure I get the outcome that I want to, to get. And I... Uh, I want to make sure that I do it correctly. <laughs> uh, chat, front seat question. If I use... Uh, if I hit use item on soul of the moonlight butterfly, will it give me a choice about how to use it? Yes or no. Just looking for a yes or a no answer. Please don't elaborate any further than that. Just a yes or a no. No. So use, I think means turn it into a many, many, many souls. Thank you. That's the thing I was, I was the thing I was terrified about. Um... Read that Kirk item. Um, I thought I did, but I killed your legend. How's it going? Um, I'll read again. I adore trinkets and oddities. So Actually, first let me do the. Uh, let me do this. First things first. I'm gonna use the other souls to get money, and I'm gonna be careful not to do the one that I just. Two thousand. Let's go. Careful not to do the uh, moonlight butterfly. Mm -mm. I have four of these. We're up to 11,000. If I get 15,000, then I can get the uh, the armor. Hi, Shamai. Sh uh, gold Pond Resin we've read before. Helm of the Wise, Armor of the Glorious, Gauntlets of the Vanquisher, Boots of the Explorer. I've read all of those. Uh, I think I've read everything. Pretty sure I did. Uh, I'm going to get the Armor of the Glorious. It looks like it might actually be stronger. I may be wrong. It looks like it might be stronger than uh, my current armor. For less weight? Or is that more weight? Let's do it. Listen, you got to fashion souls. You just have to. Thank you. That was a fine trade. I have this funny feeling we'll meet again soon. And we'll make another fine trade, of course. And we'll make another fine trade, of course. Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's actually uh, going to be... It is stronger. Oh, baby. It's stronger in every way other than... But it is uh, more weight. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's put it on. Uh, Armor of the Glorious. Can I still... That's the wrong fuck shit. I I can still roll, baby. Let's go. Character does not have a funny laugh though, which makes me upset. All right. We got to see if we can get to a boss. Hi, Shamai. So this is 100%. This is a boss room. Yeah, look at this new armor. I have so many medals. I have one medal for every boss I've beaten in this game, right? What a cool item. 
I like the way it, it jingles. I like the way it jingle jingles for sure. Okay, this goes down. Take me to this boss battle. Take me to the boss battle. Okay, there's a marker over there. All right, if we want to run another prediction, I think we're probably going to find it. Is there nothing up here? There's a whole fucking... landing here with nothing on it? All right. Um, we'll go down a little. You look rich? I do look rich. Thank you, Carly. One medal for every death is more like it. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't know that I trust these things anymore. Oh, it's a summon sign. Okay, never mind. <gasps> I can summon my man. Uh, yeah. Front seat question: Is that Solaire? That's Solaire, right? Front seat question: Yes or no? Uh. Lil in the front seat. Dope. Okay. Hell yeah. Oh, I hate. I don't hate. I don't summon. But man, if I did. Oh! Solaire? Lautrec has some, like, size. They're giving me two options for who to summon? Heavy crossbow. Predictions live, by the way. Predictions live. Get in on these bets. Go blue. I'm sure I'll beat them. I have six whole flasks. Oh, baby. I got a heavy crossbow. And one heavy and 11 heavy bolts. <laughs> All right. I can't wait to see what this kind of shit is going to be. Here's my guesses. Bigger rat, bigger slime. Or bigger, two-eyed, nerd-looking, weird-looking thingy. Here we go. Oh, a cutscene. The light. Is it a crocodile? Oh, that's just the top of its mouth. Is that its mouth or is that the top? That's the top of its mouth. What the fuck? It's kind of a crocodile with four wings. Too many teeth. That's too many teeth. That's too many teeth. We're fucked. Gaping? Why did you have to use that word? Yikes. Can I get out of here? Can I run? No. Oh, no. You destroyed the pillar. The pillar is not protection. Jesus Christ. Tail? <laughs> trying to get the camera to lock on. Jesus Christ. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just trying to stay alive so I can learn stuff here. Okay, big slam attack. Is that death down there? Probably, right? An item over here. Fashion! Hard leather. Okay. It wouldn't even let me lock on. I was so far away at first. Have I? Can I even hit you? There we go. Ow. You're so big, I can't really hit you. Hit the belly. T. 
tail? Yeah, I was gonna say, tail is next. That's swipe with hand, then follow with tail. Okay. Okay. Maybe I can stab your head like right here. I kind of wanted to stay away from the teeth. You know? That was kind of my goal I was thinking of. It doesn't have the like two uh, hitboxes like some Bloodborne slash I think Sekiro bosses have. Okay, big jump is your is your way to rotate. Okay. That's the swipe. Next is the tail, right? You hit me hard enough with the swipe, I think I'm fucked up. Camera! I'm stuck! I'm dead. Oh god. Hit the hand. I think we should honestly go for the hand, like the forearm. Hit it in the forearm. That's the thing that's closest to me most of the time. You're a fast motherfucker. Don't hit the, hit the forearm, please. Oh, big tail attack. Holy shit. Okay. I think we go for the right side because the hand swipes for less distance than the, uh, the tail does, I think. Ouch. You gonna do the jump? You should. Yeah, that's smart. Okay, we'll go to your right again. Oh, you're like kind of rainbow colored in here. Okay, the leg coming up still hits me. That's funny. Oh, I have two heals left. Fuck. I have a lot of humanity, though. How about a poison knife? Can I throw it from this far? How about my binoculars? Are those useful? Honestly, in this fight, in this fight binoculars might be useful. No, the leg, the leg, every time. The leg will hit you. Get behind the second leg. That's a tail, that's a tail. I don't know that I can block that. Gonna get behind the second leg. What is that? What the fuck? It pooped. It vomited. I think it vomited. I'm no. Oh shit! I have no health. I don't like its little mouth at the top of its. You know what? What Bloodborne DLC unnamed? I'm not gonna say the word boss this sort of reminds me of with all these limbs oh shit I'm dead your shots are safe what if you vote pink no they're not safe <gasps> that's the ledge Jesus Christ Ryan I'm sorry I'm so sorry can I get it to fall off? That's what I want. Ideal outcome here is it falls in. Oh my God, I was not even aware that was gonna be the tail. Let's take a humanity, honestly. I think this could go well enough. Okay, do we hit in the face here? What do we do? I feel like we gotta get behind that second leg. Next thing you do should be to move up. Yep, there you go. Run until you hit a wall or something. Okay, that's the spot. You do a jump, probably. 
Oh, no, you did a tail. That's fine, too. Either way, we get away. Okay, so I need to be behind you. This is running simulator right here. Okay, the leg. The leg, yep. Sweep the leg, sweep the leg. Run in case it's the tail. Could be the jump. Neither. There's the edge. Are we gaming? Then the tail. No. No tail. So no head. I need to move you this way. I can't go that way. That far. Big tail. I'm sweating. Okay. Come to me. Do your march. Wait, you have six legs? I kept thinking you had two on each side. Okay, this is the spot. This is the money maker right here. One, two, three, four. One more. Get out. Jump. Jump. Jump is fantastic for me. Oh, my God. We can do this. I didn't believe at first. I kind of believe now. A little bit. Not a lot. Move the leg. Move the leg. I'll just hit you right here. Fuck it. I'll just hit you right here. No, the leg. Shit. I'm going to take humanity. We're so close. We can do this. Oh, I'm draining. Oh, I'm betting so much on blue right now. I'm putting so much on blue. Okay, come at me. March, march, march. March. Perfect. This is what we needed. This is what we needed. Stamina, go. Run up. One, two, three, four, five. Do we just stay? We could just stay. Run. Okay, that's new. I don't know what that is. Okay. Do a march, do a march, do a march. We have avoid the leg, do a march. Don't do a tail, whatever you do. Yeah! This is it. We've got it right here. Right here. One, two, three. Stamina! I gotta run. Joke's on you, though. I still have poison throwing knives. This is bad, actually. Um, This could be where we lose it. <gasps> no! What is this? The vomit! No! No! <laughs> That's the wrong item! Heal! No! no! <laughs> Confidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh, does anyone else's chest hurt? Like somewhere, like somewhere deep in here, like somewhere right in here that is, it feels like it's really deep and you're not going to be able to like deep breath your way out of it. Like, like real. Goddamn poison knives. I was so convinced I had it and then the point the like vomit came out and then after the vomit the like I was on the I was on the edge where the ledge was did I technically die to fall damage by the way we should clear this up was that technically a death to gravity or to gaping dragon
you think it was Gaping Dragon? That's good. That's better for my ego, honestly. Um, I threw an extra poison knife instead of trying to heal. I was spending so much humanity trying to heal there, and I was so willing. I think we can just end <laughs> stream there. Ah. Oh. I honestly, here's what we need. Oh, here's what we need. There's only one way to walk back from that. Where is it? Um, Hi. Hi, smile. Uh, who was that? Ted. Hi, hello. Hi, Ted. Hi. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the sub. There's only one way to walk back from that chat, and it's this. Um, wait, where'd the camera go? Wait, wait, where'd the podium go? Oh, I was gonna put it in front of the in front of the chat, but I don't think that's actually good. Or uh, behind the chat. <sighs> so uh, we're now accepting questions from the media on the topic of today's hard loss. Uh, it was an away game. Um, we were up the whole game. Uh, close loss to Gaping Dragon in the end. Uh, that hurts us. That hurts our conference chances. Uh, that hurts... Frankly, it hurts my confidence in the team, my confidence in the guys. I question my game plan. Anyway, anyways, we're accepting questions. Accepting questions. Um, where do you think the mistake was? Well, um, first off, thank you for the question. And I just want to say uh, I accept full responsibility. I do. Um, the, you know, the players, they... The players, a.k.a. Mark Von Hiarline, he missed a couple shots. But I, as a coach, didn't put him in the spot to make the shot. I, I, I asked him to pull off the, you know, to pull off, to pull off just, you know, I would I would call it like a normal hit. Um, but, but either way, he missed it. And I, as coach, have to take full responsibility at the end of the day. I do. You still need to add a death to the death counter, by the way. Thank you for the... Heads up, we'll do that. That's 147. Our loss streak continues. Um, sir, what were you thinking standing that close to the edge? Haven't you heard the song, Dumb Waste His Eyes? Arenia, thank you for the question. I just want to say really quickly, sometimes life is best lived right at the edge. Not this time. This time it was my death. But sometimes you have to live on the edge a little bit just to keep, you know, keep the heart pumping. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the Bluebies, your loyal fans who are perpetually disappointed? <laughs> Except for last Friday. I mean, first off, can we all just acknowledge, Danny, thank you for the question. Can we all acknowledge how good last Friday was? And I don't wanna I don't wanna take away from today's hard, hard loss. I promise you the bus ride back home is going to be painful. I promise you. But but while we're here, we might as well remember how good it felt last Friday. I don't want to hype up my own record, but I do just want to put in front of the fans a gentle reminder. Don't fire me for next season. We had three boss victories last stream. Three. Three. And that wasn't, and that, you know, and that wasn't all me either. Mark did, did some, made some, made some nice shots. That's all I got to say. However, we, we've come from some high highs. Today's low losses, what do I have to say? Today's low lows, what do I have to say to the Bluebies? Here's what I have to say to the Bluebies. I think true fandom, I think, I think truly rooting for, truly turning yourself over to fate in, in, in service of and in, in support of a team or a streamer or a Dark Souls knight named Mark von Hiarlein. When you when you truly turn yourself over to fandom, what you do is you you give up some control. And at its best, 
when you give up that control, when you say my mood today is going to be dependent upon the performance of one balding coach and one balding player, sometimes Jesus takes the wheel and you have an incredible day. But the other half of the, of the fandom coin, we have to remember because it's what makes the highs so high. It's what makes the highs so high. It's those low, goddamn lows, like the day that Mark von Hiarline tried to kill Gaping Dragon what with the goddamn poison to knife. The faith of your patrons and thoughts on the potential sudden exodus from all support of your sponsors due to this blunder, poking your face with the mic. And in the process, wasted three humanity. Count them. Three. I'm pretty sure it might have been two. And did not die to fall damage, but did die to Gaping Dragon when the health's when the boss's health bar was that small. I'm just here to remind you that real fandom is both sides of the coin. And we'll be back on the other side of the coin soon. No more questions. Thank you for your time. Get this podium out of here. Can, I, can, I, can we get this podium out of here? I don't want to talk to the newspapers. Can we get the podium out of here? <clears throat> Hi, Spencer. How's it going? Thank you for the five or for the 20 bits, uh, Sven. Uh... Should I run another prediction? I don't know that we can, honestly. I think we I think we have to, I think the wisest move for me and for you is to is to sit and stew in this loss. I think it's time to sit and stew. I think it's best for me to end stream here, sit on this loss for the next 20 hours and come back tomorrow ready to make up for it. We got to we get listen, do we have some footage to review? Absolutely. Absolutely. That was awesome. That was a fun fight. I am so mad at myself. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Bloobies. know what time you're going to start dark souls tomorrow i don't know um really quickly that is going to do it for dark souls today if you're wondering when we'll stream it again we'll stream it tomorrow uh if you're watching this on youtube don't forget to leave a like and a positive comment um we'll stream it tomorrow however tomorrow is going to be a little different we won't start dark souls at 12 30 we won't start at 12 we won't start at 12 30 i would say my goal is to get to dark souls by 1 30 or 2 um, we have other things to talk about at the start of stream and a ton of cards to open. Um, so tomorrow will be a shorter Dark Souls stream, but uh, probably around 2 p.m. if you're trying to make it specifically to the Dark Souls part. Um, but yeah. Hey, really quickly before we get out of here, thank you guys so much for the uh, for the support. To all the new friends, can we get a can we get some uh, some warm welcome for all the new friends in chat, either hearts or or hellos or uh, or whatever. We had a lot of new friends today. Thanks for being here. Thanks for uh, thanks for popping in. Stream was fun because you were here. And I saw the old friends too. But. Oh man, what a fight. That's going to do it for Dark Souls. I'm going to try not to dwell too much on that and we'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> I think you dived. I dived. I dived. Yep. Yep. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Bye bye. Uh, Ryan, would you like to watch a cinematic song game trailer as a palate cleanser? Uh, you can post it in Discord. I won't watch it now. Um, I may watch it off stream, but um, yeah, you can post it in Discord uh, and tag me or something. Um, I'm curious to see what game it is you're uh, you're trying to recommend. Also, you're right. I didn't defeat a boss today. I did not defeat a boss today, which means I have to uh, I have to follow through on my Discord. Uh, on my Discord uh, promise. So shout out to the 10 people that are, are going to get some gifted subs today. This is going to hurt. It hurts. It hurts the, today we're ending stream by hurting my wallet, hurting the Bluebies wallets, and hurting no. everyone's hearts. Shout out to all the new people who just got subbed because Mark sucks at this game and Ryan also sucks. <laughs> Tony says it would have been a 20 to 1 Bluebie payout. That's crazy. 
That's crazy. I, th I thought it was like 95.5. Yeah, that makes sense. He likes bosom says, I missed my random gift sub last stream. Thanks to little indigestion. Here's the deal. I don't actually think you owe me a thank you. I think it is, um, I think it is, uh, who was it? Somebody redeemed chats to give it to you. Um, it was so, so it was somebody else. Public says you had 200 K you had 202 K on that prediction public. Here's the thing. It would have won you guys some points, some chats. It would have been my first ever. I think it would have been, and I may be wrong. I think it would have been my first ever from soft one tap. I don't know that I have ever one tap. We should check BB bosses. Have I ever one tapped a, uh, a, a from soul boss? That's the thing that was going on in my, I can't type. Uh, that's the thing that was going on in my mind. Wet nurse. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Never mind then. I forgot about that. Interesting. It might have been my second ever. I don't know that I did it in a Sekiro. But. Yep. Zerenia says, uh, Zach, thank you for the gift sub from last time. Let's go. Shout out to Zach. I asked Spoiler Chat last week if there were any bosses they thought you'd beat first try. This one never was even brought up. Oh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The end of Bloodborne was a lot of fun. Okay, very minor. Nah, I'm not even going to say it. I was going to talk about a Bloodborne spoiler, but never mind. I won't. What's the highest number of attempts? Uh, Ludwig or something in Sekiro? Uh, D-O-H in Sekiro? is a higher number okay we got to figure out who we got to figure out a way to count the Sekiro boss attempts <sighs> never mind that's way too much that's too much there's no that's that's asking way too much of some of some person somehow we need to find somebody who was like we need to find someone who is about to watch the whole thing. They were like, oh, I'm interested. And then have them do it. I, Because uh, the problem is we have a lot of people who have like seen it, and they're not going to go back and watch it a second time. That's the, that's the thing. Did those streams have a death counter? I believe we had Sekiro death counter, but only after a while. Like, it wasn't the first couple. Um, also, just to be clear... I regret even ask, like, like, asking or bringing this up. Don't, don't feel obligated to do this. Uh, this is not a... <laughs> Evo, you do enough work already. Sven does enough work already. You guys, do, you guys are so generous with your time, your moderating efforts, your... Don't... I, I, already, I absolutely will do it. I know, and now I feel guilty because you absolutely will. I already feel difficult. Or I, already feel, I already feel bad. Um, yeah. Don't do it. It's... Don't do it. Don't do it. Maybe I'll watch it over over my little break. Let's uh let's see some of the videos real quick. Sekiro also has mini bosses which happen outside an arena and complicate the account the count. That's true. And some of the things I died to the most weren't I think actual bosses. Like if the thing I'm the very specific thing I'm thinking about wasn't a boss, I'm pretty sure. Um World's worst Sekiro player, by the way. Hello, beautiful. Bits, bits. Bits, bits. Hey, Tub, thank you for the bits. Uh, no death counter in the first one, that's for sure. All right. Uh, no death counter in the second one. Here's the thing. I don't remember who it was, but somebody went back. Sorry, this is sp Sekiro spoilers. I should have said that before I just put it on the screen. Uh... Somebody went back and counted the amount of deaths we had had so far. I know that, but I don't remember who it was. Hi, Tub. How you doing, man? Thank you. It was so much fun. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I'm going to quickly scroll through some videos and see if I can't get a death counter. Uh, none on six. None on seven. None on eight. 
So we went at least eight videos without a death counter. <laughs> Sekiro is such a hard game. The fact that you beat that first is such a flex. I am very happy that that was my, my route through. Okay. First death counter, I think, makes an appearance on episode 11. Super happy Sekiro was my, was my first. It's like a, it's a unique route through, and I... It was, a, it was an interesting way to, like, learn the genre, kind of. No death counter means Ryan didn't die? Yeah, exactly. Bye, public. Thanks for being here. Sekiro's twice as hard if you've already learned that using a shield makes Dark Souls easier. Yeah. <laughs> Sekiro is an incredible. I, if anyone out there is is like, should I? Should I? It's different than the Dark Souls games that I love. You should. And I know we just talked about not talking about shoulds, but you should. It's a. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um. It's such a different game, but it is really rewarding. The story is very interesting. The bosses are dope. Um. I felt like even purely the combat was so like at the point I at that point I had nothing to compare it to, but the combat was still so crisp. I'm I'm just sitting here running through a, some different fights in my head, some good like bosses and boss surprises and stuff like ah, oh, what a game. Sekiro is my favorite FromSoft. I bought Sekiro but I haven't played it. Is this the clip of the death? I'll watch this right now, for sure. Absolutely. Dark Souls is so fun. Holy shit. Um, okay, here we go. Absolutely, I'll watch this. This is it. We've got it right here. Right here. One, two, three. Then 60 per hit. Stamina! And I have it down to like 120 right there. So that's two hits. That's two hits from Jokes death. on you though. I still have poison throwing knives. How much does a poison this throwing knife actually. do? Um, this could be where we lose it. I shouldn't even said that. Why did I say that? I spoke it into existence. This could be where we lose it. This is such a <gasps> risky area to no, run to, especially when the vomit or puke or whatever. Or the poop. vomit. No! That did seven damage. No! Still have health. That's the wrong item! Heal! If I heal there with humanity, I can get off at least one no! attack. No! <laughs> this hurts to watch. <laughs> this face, this hurts to watch. No! No! <laughs> That's the wrong item! Heal! No! No! So technically, no! No! technically he does. Technically he kills me. Technically they kill me. Because that's a like chomp, I think. I think that's a chomp attack that takes my HP to zero. Damn. Oh, God. This is one of the hardest losses to witness. Here's the thing, though. It becomes a part of the story. It becomes a part of the story. And, and, and the comeback, too. At least that hu last humanity wasn't consumed. Yeah, if I'd have used that humanity, then got chomped and bitten off the edge, that would have sucked. I had faith, Ryan. I had true blind faith that you would get yourself killed. <laughs> sure, but there's no way those bloobies are getting those payout odds again. Sure, but I don't have to think about that. I mean, that's you guys' is a problem. <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. The vomit caused me to panic. You're so right about that. 
admit that you just wanted to give 10 subs to the community i'd trade that in a heartbeat you know i i would i do want cards but i'd trade that in a heartbeat anyways i gotta get out of here suddenly i talk till 4 10 uh thanks very much for being here you guys thanks for the stream i'll see you tomorrow until then have a great rest of your day much love much love see ya bye, -bye. later